Yes. Oh, scared. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the big quick resume episode, the biggest one of the year, arguably. Um, if you don't, I know, I know. If you don't include the tier list we did last week, which you definitely go and watch um, after this one. Hi, my name is Deck, and my name is Tim, and this is Big Fat QRP. <laughs> Quick resume podcast. So, um, if you're here, you've probably seen the title of the video, or you're a regular follower, in which case, you know, eternal gratitude. Yeah, that's great. Um, we're going to be doing our predictions today for the Xbox showcase, and we're doing it today because we are busy little bees. We're meeting up next week. It's going to be hard to sort of like plan um, or to do one for next week, so we're just going to do it for now, and we're going to hope that all of these insiders hold strong. You know, hold on <laughs> on these leaks. Um, but before we get to that, you know, we do have some um, sort of housekeeping. There is a, like a little bit of news. We had obviously Sony State of Play um, and a couple of other bits and uh, bits and bobs as well. Um, so, Tim, yes. hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm good, man. Yeah, it's, it feels like we haven't really been gaming much together these days, have we? It feels like it's it's, it's no, been. We, on, we, we normally speak on the daily, but yeah, you know, not not as of late. Um, but yeah, no, I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, How's the gaming life? The gaming brain. Yeah, the gaming brain's actually been pretty pretty versatile these days. Um, oh, excellent. Me too, actually. Yeah, yeah. So obviously we've, I mean, something we've gone back into together over the last, like, uh, I guess week, isn't it? It's literally just been like the last week was um, yeah. Monster Hunter Rise. We've been, we've been booting up and playing again. I think we just got a bit of a Monster Hunter itch. Um, and the new expansion, Sunbreak's coming out at the end of the month. So that's right. Um, and we'll be getting back into that. And that's great fun. Like, I mean, we, we can always just, get sucked back into a Monsanto game so easily, can't we? Yeah, that's um, right. <laughs> it's just such an easy cycle to just get back into. Um, I just love I just love the formula and just everything they do there. Um, yeah, they're, they're just good games. Shit, even if he is on a shitty Switch. Um, <laughs> with, which genuinely, like, after playing... Because I haven't played my Switch in quite a while. Probably the last time we had a decent stint on Rise was the last time I played it. So that was like back on like release, or like a few weeks after its release. And God, going to a Switch after playing on an Xbox um, Series X is so jarring. The, 7, the 720p is just not okay. No, I know. <laughs> like, it's 1080, I guess. It Mate, it's fun. one of the biggest like reasons that I struggle to like play games on that console. Like when we played Rise before when it came out, I was like, oh, this game's great, but I, yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, genuinely, like, you can, like, see the fuzziness and you can see, like, the rough edges of, like, pixels and stuff like that. And it's just like, really? It's, we're in 2022. Like, yeah. And it's just funny because, like, you know, you know, like, Rise does have frame drops. You know, like, it doesn't, like, yeah. break the game, but it has quite big frame drops sometimes. And if that happened on, like, a main home console or, like, you know, if it happened on a PlayStation or an Xbox, like, it, the scores would be docked like it would be brought up quite a lot and that wouldn't be let go until it was patched after launch but because it's the switch everybody seemingly like lets go of it because it's like oh it's a weak it's a weak hard you know hardware and it's like yeah just, give just it make money. a better one <laughs> yeah it's, they have the resources to make a more powerful console um but yeah it's just i mean and and to be fair to to rise um it has a lovely color palette and like the designs are nice, so it does get away with it a, a bit more than my other games. I yeah. feel like if I was to like boot up like Doom Eternal on that, I think I'd just throw up. Yeah, like I, yeah. I just because that you know you can get away with it depending on like design and color palette and stuff like that. You can kind of hide it and disguise it a bit. Well, um, they've done well with what they had. To be fair, like the loading times in that game are quite quick, and yeah, like generally, are. it performs pretty well. Mm -hmm. I don't think it looks particular. Yeah, like it's definitely struggling graphically. Um, yeah, but, yeah, switch things. Yeah, um, but yeah, so yeah, we've been playing that. Um, I finished Guardians of the Galaxy as well. Um, literally, I was on. Oh, nice. Chapter, I was on like chapter fifteen. Uh, we have been for ages because I'm playing it with um, with my with my partner. So. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been on chapter 15 for a long time. Um, but yeah, we finally got around to it and completed it. Um, and it was, it was it was pretty good, man. You know, I'd, I'd say the overall experience, I'd give it like a solid like eight, eight and a half. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's a really, really good game. Um, and a 
fantastic addition to Games Pass as well. Like, I just feel like it's kind of like a must play in Games Pass. Um, Absolutely. Especially as Games Pass is dead. Um, play it while it's still alive. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so I did that, wrapped that up, enjoyed that, and then I've also started uh, It Takes Two as well. Um, uh, good shit. This yep. weekend, so good. we've done about Game four Game of the hours. Year winner, It Takes Two. Yeah, it's and yeah, it's quite interesting because like, we've probably put about four hours into it now, and it is a really good game. Like, it is really crisp, um, and it's like really responsive, and the puzzles are nice, and... Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's just not game of the year. It's just it's not. It's not <laughs> one of those games. Like it's fun and it's just a bit. But the, yeah, the, the the dialogue's a bit just gooey and predictable and um, it, it's fine. It's fine. It is. I am enjoying it a lot. Um, playing it with my partner and the puzzles are really good and satisfying and funny. You, you do get some funny moments in there. Um, but yeah, I just don't. I, just don't think I think it's funny because if you go back and listen to me, like when I was comment, like you know, commentating on it, um, what, I don't know, thirty episodes ago or whatever, um, I, I was like exactly the same in my. For most of the game, I think, like, they, they get for, for they, it's really long. Firstly, it's a surprisingly long game. Oh, okay. Um, I was expecting it to be around like the sort of ten to twelve hour mark. Twenty, twenty at least. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's long, um, not in a bad way, but because the story is fucking nonsense. Like it's it's absolutely nonsense. Like it, it I I couldn't even t- like. I remember there being some shit that happened that was just like of such little importance to what was actually going on. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know the little mini stories they tell within like the each like biome. Do you know what I mean? Like with the, mm-hmm. each mechanic, like they're like kind of funny and cute. Um. But what the, like because the game is so long, they do incredibly well at throwing a new mechanic at you every time it's mental yeah. like it's actually mental like every two hours you have a new set of mechanics to, to figure out um yeah so i know what you mean because i remember when it won game of the year i was like i was like going back and forth on it but then at the same time like how often do you get games like that that like nail it that well like have that many mechanics mm-hmm. that long um and it you just- know plays so, really well as well like it is it it's looks just a too. really good platformer um yeah with really good puzzles so it's like i've genuinely had to like just stop and like take like a long view at something and just be like okay i think i know what to do you know like it actually you know it makes you use your brain and it is really clever and it's really satisfying when you get it done um yeah no yeah i i i, I kind of agree with you it's it's weird that it got game of the year but then you can kind of also understand so yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think it's good. It's, it's one of those things that I'm like, eh, I'm like going back and forth on whether it because it, like, it was a strong year, especially for Xbox. You know, so like Psychonauts, Deathloop, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, yeah. Yeah. and uh, Halo Forza. You know, um, and no, Halo didn't make it, but it, you can't help but be kind of glad that that sort of game. I can't think of a lot. I don't even. I don't even know if a game like of that genre has won Game of the Year. Since Game of the Year's Incep- uh, you know, um, Game Awards yeah. Inception, I don't think so. so. Yeah, true. So really, I can't, I can't be too mad, but I know what you mean. I think there's, there's a little bit of like, um, it's a little bit jarring simply because it's not the sort of game I'm used to winning, <laughs> you know, Game of the Year. So I'm like, so. oh, this can't possibly be. But, but actually, you, know, you think you get to the end of the year, actually, the, the, the gameplay in there was very, like, very good. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's absolutely. good to hear, man. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, you'll have to let us know as you, how you get on um, as you keep going through it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, and also, actually, I wanted to say, is it just me? Or is it impossible? I mean, we're playing it on PlayStation. Does that, is that game really stingy with achievements? We're like four hours in. Like, <laughs> we have one achievement. We have one trophy out of, 20, um, uh, out of 21. It, it is a little bit, um, but it's only because like most of them are like you have to find like the secret mini games, like half of them are like that. And then like, so the game's really long. So actually yeah, we've played you, a lot of those mini games all. and stuff. And like, we've beaten loads of like really crazy big bosses and stuff like that. And it's just, just nothing happens. No trophies, no achievements. It's just really weird. It's just longer than you think. That's all. But okay. yeah, there are some, there are some like secret ones where it's like, you know, I'll oh, find a book that's hidden in the vacuum cleaner. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, 
Well, I guess on on my side of things, um, well, I mean, obviously, yeah, we've been playing Monster Hunter Rise. Um, I've been playing quite a bit of Halo this week. Um, there's a fairly yes. cool stance for the weekly ultimate. Um, Team Snipers dropped, which just got everyone pissed off really? um, uh, because they made it, it. From what I can tell, it's pissing everyone off for a few different reasons. I'm not pissed off, you know me. Chill deck over here. Yeah, that's um, that's but so. Um, the, the, from what I can tell, the, so there's like a number of you know variations on it. There's like team snipers, team skewers, team stalkers, and is that it or is there one more? I think that's it. For some reason, shock rifle isn't one. Oh, okay. For now, um, but what they so that's pissed people off because people are like, oh, it should just be you know UNSC sniper. Um, the second reason, why you know, it's like a like layered on top of that is a uh, that. You have secondaries in these game modes. <laughs> so in the skewer, you have a skewer and a mangler. You have a stalker and a pulse carbine and a sniper. And I can't remember what the other one is. Not a plasma pistol, maybe? I don't know. Nothing that's going to, like, secure you. Anyway, whatever. People are angry. And sometimes, like, like I said, you, you play it and you're like, this is fun. People don't really go around with manglers trying to kill you because it's just not effective. Like, you're better off trying to hit a... Uh, you know, hit fire skewer. Um, yeah. But sometimes I'm like, three foot, just throw them a bone. <laughs> like, I'll be okay. You know, the rest of the casuals, I, I mean, uh, you know, we'll be okay. But you know, this is going to piss off pure yeah. Halo crowd. Throw them a bone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't really think it's, yeah, I don't think the casual audience or the more accepting audience like me and you are going to just be like, oh man, it's really annoying that it's just snipers. It's like, we're still going to enjoy the game mode as is. And then just, just please your diehard fans too. Like it, it, it just seems weird that they did take that route. I have to admit. Um, it yeah. just seemed like a needless route to take that just caught them. Like, like it just brought attention to them and negativity. Yeah. I don't know. I think well, it's probably one of those things that I reckon they play tested it and they were like, actually, it's kind of annoying to fire four rounds at your sniper in, you know, four seconds, be reloading for the next three seconds and then get sniped in the head. Do you know what I mean? And you just go back. Like, I imagine I they did that's that. the tenseness of it, though, isn't it? That if you miss your shot, I think you're so. both reloading and staring at each other and it's like, who gets the reload off first and then whips to your head, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just part of the game mode, really. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I get it. Um, I just have to imagine that they they didn't just chuck it in there for just you know for shits and gigs. Um, yeah. But like I said, it does it does play well. It's just it's not pure snipers. But anyway, so that's been our playing Halo. Um, okay. uh, there's something else I've forgotten. I've been playing more Cyberpunk. Said last oh, week nice. that I was like struggling to get into it. I think the intro is actually kind of like not. It's like very mediocre. But I've now passed the intro. Keanu Reeves is in my game. The plot has thickened, <laughs> and things have gone interesting now. <laughs> so yes. I'm actually like I'm I'm quite uh, I'm quite interested by the story now um, and going through it. Um, some of the stuff in that world is like like just crazy um, in, in a really yeah. good way. Um, the, just the world building in general is very good. Uh, so yeah, so there's there's that. I think I oh, and then the other thing I've just been playing is Mario Rabbit still because. Like it's 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 you know it's E three time of year, so I'm like listening to a lot of podcasts, so I can't yeah. play Cyberpunk very much because I'm like, like I want to listen and play something which is like you know it's doesn't have a story. I eat Nintendo games, you know, don't have stories. So yeah, uh, yeah, I've just been doing that. And that game is like surprisingly hard. I think I've said this before, but like, it's really hard. It's like it's difficult. Yeah, no, yeah, you have said that before. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's been my life. So um, nice. so yeah. Um, so, uh, as I said before, everyone, we're going to quickly recap some of the news, some of the important stuff. Uh, there will be timestamps if you just want to skip ahead to like the predictions for next week's big show. Um, but we will start, Tim, yes. with the fact that uh, I wanted to. Well, I wanted to start with uh, what's it called? Dragon Age. <laughs> That's really struggling. Dragon mm-hmm. Age Dreadwolf Ooh. got announced. Yeah. That's it, though. Just got a title. Um, Red Wolf. It's a very interesting title. Yeah, I was like, well, that's a fucking cool title. And then I went online and people were like, oh, this is lame. And I was like, am I 
my old. <laughs> like, yeah, I, thought was, I thought that was a cool title. Yeah, it sounds very interesting. Did it not come with any like cover art or like a logo or anything like that to give any indication? Okay, all right, just Probably just not. dreadful. Okay, yeah, um, which is very nice. I'm. I mean, I loved Dra- Dragon Age Origins. Like the first one was like my first intro to like fancy RPG that I can really think of, other than yeah. like licensed stuff. Like maybe like I think Lord of the Rings games when I was younger, but you know familiar with the universe so, but like dragon age origins i was like oh yes. this is like cool yeah they're, they're, they're really good games man and i think inquisition got a bit more heat than it deserved i actually thought inquisition was pretty good well no no it was the other way around like a lot of people felt it got too much praise because it won game of the year that year in like 2014 yeah reviewer wise but yeah i think community oh, i'm with was, you right yeah it wasn't very fondly received um, and I couldn't see why. I had a good time with it, to be uh, honest. I don't know. I've got to agree. Like, I did like it, but I think it wasn't Game of the Year material. It's just it was a weak year or whatever. Um, I think there probably was yeah. some better stuff out there. I didn't... I think... I, like The thing I tend to have... My only problem with Dragon Age games is that I struggle with, like, squad games like squad solo games where you have to, like, micromanage, like, 20 other people. I'm like, I don't want to okay. do this. I quite like um, that. I like I can I can put up with it if it's like boiled down like it's just simplified. Like if it's like Guardians, yeah, Guardians, um, easy peasy. Mass Effect was kind of this kind of the same. You you know everyone does have skill trees, but you don't have to really do it. There's like an auto button if you like really don't care about what they're doing, yeah. uh, or like you know the micro uh, min maxing your, your squad mates. Um, yeah, but Dragon Age has a, like a lot of that, and it's like they've got like four skill trees, and it's like oh like I don't I'm not playing you. Like uh, that's why how I feel anyway. So like, I'm not playing you. So like I don't care if you get seven percent extra health this minute or, or something in a region. Um, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just like that doesn't always click for me. Um, but I really liked Origins, and for some, you know how Origins combat was like. It was like I don't even know how to describe it. It, it wasn't like real time combat. It was like um, it wasn't turn based either. It was like you would trigger a command and then you know they would just auto attack. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's almost like um, MMO kind of. Aura. Yeah, and it's quite similar to like how Final Fantasy like thirteen did it and stuff like that. Oh, um, right. Yeah, it's sort of like that mix between real time and strategy. It's sort of like a hybrid blend of the two, because um, you could like slow down time or like pause. You so you like selected your abilities and then you chose where to put them and target, and then it all just kind of happened and sort of unraveled in front of you. Um, yeah, I quite liked it. Um, but then I've had experience with it in previous like Final Fantasy games and stuff like mm. that. So, yeah, I thought it was alright. Yeah, cool. Well, I mean, it's definitely exciting to see what's next for that <laughs> for that universe. Um, obviously, everyone's yeah. banking on that and the next Mass Effect to bring Bioware out of out of the Dark Age. Mm. Um, speaking of dark, Tim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's actually really good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Dark Tide, Warhammer Dark Tide, the timed Xbox console exclusive. I think it's it seems to be timed, probably is. Um, got a release date of September thirteenth, which is great because that game has been like silent for ages. Had a trailer like last month, um, and that was shown off at the Warhammer Skull Showcase, um, which we were speaking about off air. And I was like, it was like two hours long. I was like, I couldn't believe they had enough games to fill out two yeah. hours. Yeah, you were um, like, how much could Warhammer like? <laughs> I remember you talking to me. You're like, how much could they possibly have to show? And you were yeah. Like, Turns out a lot. <laughs> yeah, they had so much. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, but this was because there was. Um, oh, I'm gonna like embarrass myself. Uh, there was like Warhammer, 40k Space Marines. Maybe is that what it's called? Sure. They d- like the, so there was like it's like a third. Uh, it's announced at the Game Awards, but it's like um, third person. You know, it's like Gears but Warhammer, mm-hmm. yeah. um, and they're doing a new one of them, which they haven't done for a long time, and the old ones like very very loved. Um, that was like the that's like the big thing for them, but they didn't really show anything else more. They just did like a hype trailer and a bit of dev commentary. Um, so that was actually quite. I'm like quite excited for that, even though I think the models for uh, Warhammer Boys is kind of weird. Like they're so chunky, they're oh, so they're wide, so so chunky. Yeah, it's like the it's like, are, like <laughs> yeah. It's like if you put Ryu in a suit of armor, it's so wide. Yeah. Really um, is. So there was that, and then yeah, um, Dark Tide. So which is great because that means we don't have to speak about it for our predictions. I don't think. I assume it's not going to show up again at the Xbox Showcase, but maybe they do because they didn't show any gameplay. Yeah, so, maybe. maybe. Um, I, I I'm going to bank no for now, but I'm going to uh, say no. Yeah, 
yeah, I think they save that for maybe something else. Um, just wait for release. Maybe it's only a couple of months. Just start ramping up. Um, okay. So, we had some Games Pass editions as well, um, in the form of Assassin's Creed Origins, which also got a big 60 frames, 4K upscaling, it got like a big performance boost uh, like nice. from from Ubisoft, um, which and I actually re-downloaded it, because this is a game that I've never been able to click with, even though I love the idea of a game being in, in ancient Egypt. Mm. Um, uh, so, and a lot of people have been saying, like, it, you know, looks absolutely gorgeous, so... Um, it does. Yeah, I mean, if hopefully that wasn't something that stopped to like frame rate boost because I think about frame rate boost and I'm like, oh, more, <laughs> more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can never have an, uh, too many frame frame boosts for games, right? Yeah, it's the Dishonored, way forward. Dishonored two when. Yeah. Um. Okay. Next up, uh, four on a marching fire edition. I'm assuming that's like you know game of the year up to date expansion pack edition. Yeah. Uh, cool. So. Chorus, which is like a space flight combat game, Disc Room, Ninja Guiding Master Collection, and Space. Space Lines from the Farret. Farret. Does that say Far Out? Far Out. I think it says Far Out. I can't tell. Why? My picture's too small. Yeah, Space Lines from the Far Out. I think you're right. Yeah. Cool. Well, you know, pretty, pretty good month. Um, I, I think Origins is, is the big thing there. I've seen some people be excited about Ninja Garden as well and Chorus. Um, and they've also said, cheeky, cheeky, wink, wink, nudge, nudge at the bottom of the post. Uh, we'll see you on June 12th for the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. I'm back here soon. Cheers. I mean, you know, not immensely surprising, but it'll be part of the conversation today, you know, about Games Pass editions because I was re-watching last i actually watched i like scrubbed through them um for like last year's 2020 and 2019 to like you know showcase whatever um mm-hmm. and last year in particular for games pass was bonkers absolute bonkers you would not yeah. believe it um okay. <laughs> so uh yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll come back around to that but very uh my eyebrows are are raised okay Next up, Tim, we spoke about this. Xbox Design Labs. Being a bit sus. Yeah. Being sussy, sussy boys. Yeah. So what they've said on Twitter is that the Xbox Design... Uh, well, no, they didn't say on Twitter, sorry. It's me. It was posted on Twitter, but the, essentially the website says, Xbox Design Lab will be back in a bit. Uh, wait until you see what we're working on. A couple of days after, it was... We went into June. June is Pride Month, by the way. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Um, and... We, 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 they, they announced a Pride controller, which, uh, from what I understand, was a controller that they were selling to influencers last year, or they like gave away to influencers but didn't make it available to buy. Okay. Um, I actually don't remember this, but someone else reminded me on a different podcast. Um, so that they've like tried to you know, correct that mistake and just make this purchasable, but the website is still down <laughs> to this very day. Still down to this very day. So they, wow. I think they did say... Um, I can't remember if they gave a date as to when they'd be back up. But we can maybe assume... I mean, if it goes up before the showcase, we'll assume it was just for that. Even though I don't know why that would take the whole website down. Um, if it's not up until like next Sunday, something's happening. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think, Tim? Well, I think we... We've both got a pretty big hunch, and it's something we've been asking for for a while. I'm pretty sure we've mentioned it on the podcast multiple times as well, um, which is the custom designer leap controllers, which would be epic. And, mm. uh, you know, something, assuming you can get insurance with them from Microsoft as well. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> that's, that's the only, the only issue because I I ain't, I ain't dropping two fifty on a custom controller for it to break in six months. I tell you that much. Can you so, imagine? You know, you, you give me a nice fucking insurance scheme like Amazon does or something like that, and then maybe yeah. I'll drop a really hefty price tag on a custom controller. But yeah, I yeah, we kind of think that's what it's going to be, right? Yeah. I, well, so. Yes. So this is this is one of, of two fun speculations that I've seen online. I think this is the thing that everyone's mind immediately went to. The other thing is no longer Xbox controller design lab, just Xbox design lab. 
Oh, custom Xboxes. Custom Good Xboxes. Day. Custom consoles, maybe. Get a little Series S. Get a little pattern on it. Coloured uh, Xbox thingy. Different well, like a, do you think it'd just be like... It'd be cool if they could. You could be like an upload your own like PNG or something, and then they'd like put it on. Yeah, That'd maybe. Cool. I don't maybe. think it would be. They'd just give you some like loads of options to go through. I think, but yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So, so that's speculation number two. Speculation number three, which I haven't seen anybody speak about so far. So this is a, this is an exclusive yeah, scoop well, from me. <laughs> um, okay. What if we're looking at a possible? xbox controller revamp just base controller is getting revamped um and that's why they're taking the website down because they need to update <laughs> all the controllers to work with this new controller you know xbox controller okay. 2.0 um there's i think there's some reason to think that this is possible and i would say that that is dual sense has been very successful xbox would have known playstation were doing a dual sense 2018 2019 yeah. It's been many years. So if they did want to do a competitor, it, I, I reckon it would land like first half of 2023 or, you know, maybe Christmas time. Mm -hmm. I think the whole thing raises a bit of questions about how a, you know, a platform holder integrates new controllers in, like mm -hmm. because Xbox is being so compatible with their controllers you know, you're not forcing everyone. So that means developers are going to be like implementing features for such a, a, a small fraction, unless yeah. they up, unless this new controller is what comes with like bundles from now on, or, you know, bundles. For uh, yeah. On that's what I was going to say. Like the PlayStation timed it nicely that they kind of just were just like new generation, new controller, you know, it just came with it where we've already kind of entered this new generation, keeping a standing controller. And then we're like, oh you know here's a new controller if you want but kind of yeah and like you said then devs are like splitting their resource so like do they do features for this potential new one or just stay with the old one? yeah it's just a bit clunky you kind of got to do it as you transition into the new era it's quite it's quite clunky to do it afterwards but potentially yeah so <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, it's so so it is a tricky one, you know, in terms of how they're going to kind of integrate that. That's that's something for them to decide, but you know, on the kind of production side, I could definitely, you know, and definitely like you know, um on the like people are excited for like new controllers, I think, like given the success of the dual sensors ad. Um mm -hmm. I think people want something new even if the compatibility of the Xbox controllers is a very good pro. Um so yeah, just some fun speculation. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. I would be interested to see what they did with a new controller because I wouldn't want you to go through all this effort to just like, like do shitty haptics or like I don't know. Like I would want something to to happen, <laughs> you know, with this sort of controller that makes it worth it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. So I mean, this is possibly a thing that we see at the showcase. Um, and then the last bit of news for today, really is the state of play um the playstation had a state of play on thursday just gone um and they set expectations in advance you know they said um expect you know videos from our third party partners playstation vr2 stuff uh, and that's it yeah came and went everyone's pretty happy it was good yeah what did it. you think what did you think? Yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I watched it. Um, we didn't actually watch it live. We completely forgot, but we came back and watched it um, on YouTube. Like an hour later, it got like uploaded. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good, man. There was there was a few things, and obviously, I was my best thing for me was the Final Fantasy sixteen um, gameplay Watch. reveal um, and stuff like that. And I thought that looked great, and I liked the sort of direction they're going in. Um, and uh, I even said it looked like a DMC like style combat, and it turns out like the lead like combat designer from DMC Five is working on it, so kind of makes sense. Um, and yeah, the the VR stuff actually looked really cool, man. There was literally a part of me where I was literally I was watching it, and I was like, I have a PS Five now, and I was like, this stuff looks pretty cool. Like, I'm gonna keep my eye on VR and like potentially. You know, I I might potentially purchase a, a VR two at some point down the line. Um, especially like the Horizon Forbidden West um, VR looked very very cool. 
Yeah, it um, did. Yeah, I was quite impressed with that. Um, and then uh, the other big one for me was RE4, the RE4 remake, um, which is pretty damn hype. Um, RE4 is probably my favorite Resident Evil game. Um, it's 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 pretty damn fantastic. And see it getting the same treatment as RE2 and 3 got. Um, yeah, that's that that's pretty cool and pretty exciting. Um, and yeah, ov- overall, it was just a pretty well structured showcase, to be honest. Good pacing, you know. They showed off a, w- a wide variety of games. We saw Stray <laughs> again, which is. Quite I fun thought Stray enough. looked great. It, it, look, it looks really cool, doesn't it? It looks very, very interesting, very artistic, very chill. Um, and it's coming, and it's dropping straight into the subscription service, the game library thing. Which it is, is cool. which is very interesting because you'll find a legion of defenders out there saying like. PlayStation are right for not putting their exclusives day one into the service. Like, they don't want to devalue their games. And it's like, why are you, like, voting against yourself, against your own interests? Yeah, what's wrong and with it's you? like, I bet you're going to be really happy when this drop, drops in day one. So, you know, yeah. I reckon they're going to be very carefully analyzing the reactions to this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm with you, man. I thought it was pretty good. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I think they did really well at managing expectations um the pacing was was lovely and there were some lovely surprises in there um and it doesn't hurt that none of it well other than final fantasy which we already know about it doesn't hurt that none of it was like timed exclusive you know it was nice that i didn't have to like sift yeah. through like code words to figure oh, out this, if this man not. was sweating like the like a couple of days before he was just like like maybe like world two gets like announced and if it's exclusive i'm gonna tear off my own head and like, <laughs> monster hunter we're talking about by the way yeah yeah monster hunter world two yeah and i was like chill out dude i don't, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen and you're like i don't know capcom and playstation are pretty chummy I was like, <laughs> yeah I, I mean you can actually see like if you go on my timeline on twitter that there is like a I do, like an actual documented timeline of like me having a breakdown because yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Capcom, especially when Capcom like popped up at one yeah. point in the show, I was like, no, not now. Uh, I mean, you still might be right. You know, when World 2 might gets be. announced, you know, there still might be that chance, but I, I yeah. don't think it's going to happen. I've explained why um, off, off cam, why I don't think World will be an exclusive. Uh, yeah, well... Yeah, I mean, like, Monster Hunter World 2 and Dragon's Dogma 2 are two really big ones that I'm, like, near and dear to my heart, and I don't yeah. want them to be, like, exclusive or timed exclusive. Obviously, they're both Capcom. But the fact that Resident Evil 4 Remake wasn't exclusive, or, like, doesn't have any sort of exclusivity, makes me think that maybe Capcom are, like... Well, two I don't and know. three did, Some... did they? So... Something's going on. Um, what? The 2 and 3, uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remakes didn't have any exclusivity either. No, I suppose. When when did they? They never have. When did they come out? What Resident Evil two and three? Uh, quite a while ago now. Uh, well, three was obviously more recent. I'd say three was like last year sometime, maybe the year before. Resident Evil two was a couple years back now. Okay, I I just feel like it's more recently that PlayStation has been chummy with Capcom, but maybe that has been long standing. Yeah, I don't know. Um, nonetheless, it is something I'm still worried about. Um. But, yeah, you know, not this time. So I can put a pin in the in the panic for now. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, uh, yeah, we, I forgot to mention. I don't know if you're going to move on to it. Uh, we saw Street Fire as well. That looks that's right. That looks fucking sick. Uh, and I didn't know it was Street Fire for like the first half of the trailer because it was like an. It, it was like it, they look like they've got like a create your own fighter, like open world sort of Rome and like like MMO fighter, fighter. <laughs> yeah, sort of thing. And I was just like, I don't know what this is. Um, and then I was just like, oh, this is, this is Street Fighter. <laughs> um, and it looks fucking amazing, dude. Like, the, the art style of that game looks so, so cool. Yeah, it looked um, great. Yeah. It looked great. Um, I agree. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, I watched, because I, I like, I, I've played Street Fighter before, but like, I've never really gotten into it. But I watched that trailer and I was like, I could, I could, yeah, I, I could play. That. Yeah. Um, you know, so that was exciting. And, and absolutely, you know, it's, it's, it's such a win. And I don't know what happens to make this happen. That Street Fighter isn't exclusive to PlayStation because Street Fighter so Five, weird. Street Fighter Five never came to Xbox. So that's just you know yeah. they were intent on making that a PlayStation franchise, um, you know. And I think maybe you know maybe Xbox were contending with it, like you know offering money, uh, or maybe Xbox is just doing better this gen and the cost 
you know, it would have cost PlayStation more to offset the cost of releasing it multiplayer. You know, true. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't really know, but that's a it's a big deal because we, we've spoken about this in previous episodes that you know PlayStation have been very strategic in get money hatting these you know um, these games to segment communities like street. Uh, you know, people kept saying that after Killer Instinct, Street Fighter came out as exclusive to PlayStation, and that's where the majority of the like fighting community went. But the whole community pretty much were not playing on Xbox after that. Yeah. So great news, great news. I do, yeah, don't, not sure how this is happening. You know, maybe it's maybe it's literally just a thing to do with budget. You know, PlayStation are maybe spending spending a lot of budget on PS Plus now. Maybe they just couldn't afford it. But yeah, we'll see. Um, and, and the final thing uh, was the Callisto Protocol. Holy shit! Oh yeah, that looked really cool. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> that looked incredible. Uh, show show stealer for me comfortably. Big like lovely surprise as well. Um, and I just want to remind you that game, uh, Callisto Protocol. Yeah. Uh, you know, like body horror, you know, people's heads get blown off, mm-hmm. uh, heads bitten into. Mm-hmm. Um, that game up until last week was going to be in the same universe as PUBG. <laughs> I don't understand. Does PUBG even have a universe? <laughs> I didn't even know it did. I thought it was just a war sim. So weird, isn't it? Like, what do you mean? What yeah, do you how mean? How do you define a, a universe? <laughs> like, how is PUBG a universe? Like, is there gonna? Say. Yeah, it's like, is there gonna be any connection there? Oh man, this goes deeper than Marvel. And this goes deeper than. Everything. Are they just gonna have frying pans? Is that all it is? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Because yeah, I think weird. I don't. I don't even know why that was the case. Because it's not like it was by the same publisher, which is Smilegate. Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> like, well, it's not, so chill out. Like, yeah, at some point they were like, you know, at some point someone was like, guys, I think this is a really yeah. dumb idea. <laughs> like, I don't think this is going to work. Why? Because PUBG doesn't have a universe. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll scrap it. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. So they cancelled that. Yeah, they went, to, they, went, they went to Twitter and were like, yeah, just to confirm, nothing anymore. And everyone was like, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was weird. But yeah, good show. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Um, it was just fun. I just had a fun time. Um, yeah, yeah it's good, man. Uh, and then obviously, you know, it's likely that they'll have a little showing. I, I don't know if they'll have anything in Summer Games Fest or maybe after Summer Games Fest. If I'm Sony, I'm doing the old sandwich strap where I do a state of play before and then maybe like a mini state of play uh, at the end of June um to sandwich xbox um get that primary and recency bias and show off pretty much maybe just like a couple of cgi announcements for stuff coming in 2023 and then a god of war gameplay walkthrough which that game is supposedly still coming out this year um and i i think i don't know because it goes two ways that there's a school of thought which is like that game's getting delayed because we haven't seen much of it or there's a school of thought which is like they're sitting on it because they want to make a big announcement and some part of me is like Sony's very fluid with their marketing and I think I think that they have seen Redfall get delayed they've seen seen Starfall get delayed and they want to suck the air out of the room for the back half of the year I think they're sitting on it and they're just gonna drop it and be like comes out end of September yeah like like in a month you know a month or two uh yeah. you know comes out um October you know very very soon so <clears throat> we'll see mm, interesting Oh, there was one last thing. There was one last thing, and that was Spider-Man PC. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sony bringing yet another exclusive PlayStation title only on PlayStation to PC once again. Yeah. yeah fucking fuck. Did you like see... Every, everyone else would be fucking gaslighted for this, but well. <laughs> did, did you see the uh, video I, I sent in the chat the other day? It was... Uh, a... Yeah, the guy with the Spider-Man, yeah. And he just, like, freaks Having out. An... And he, like, shout, like, my console or something. Like, really loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like... He literally spent a minute building up to it. He was like, well done, you PC gamers out there. And he got like increasingly sarky, and he was like, "Oh, yeah, I know what you're gonna do is you're just gonna install it, run a benchmark, and uninstall it. So, uh, you know, add it to your wish list." And he's like getting increasingly like agitated. He's <laughs> like, "For stealing from my console, <laughs> what are you yeah, talking all, about, dude? 
Ooh, Did you tag it out? as? Yeah, watch the final ten seconds for a for a brief <laughs> look behind the curtain of insanity. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, God. I hope oh, I'm not being funny. trolled, but either way, fantastic performance. If I am being trolled, but that looks like we've seen reactions like that come from you know the vocal minority before. I, I remember when Horizon first got ported to PC, somebody like lobbed their PS4 out a window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you lot are crazy. <laughs> oh, it is funny. It is funny. Um, and then, of course, like people have been retweeting like Insomniac's tweet from 2017 saying, oh, it will never come to Xbox or PC. It's a permanent mm. exclusive, which is like, you know, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird dunk because it's like it was 2017, you know, things change. Um, yeah, I guess. But then you can't put out official. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. Yeah, but, but you know, people were like, you know, dunking on it um yeah, but, it's know, the fact i think what's whatever more is the fact that they just keep doing it like they, 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 well they've yeah. done this multiple times like it just really just drove home that it was only ever going to be on playstation and like the world will collapse in on itself before it comes to another platform <laughs> and then like by the end of the year there's like three of them are on pc <laughs> it's just like oh, <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yeah, it's um. I mean, it, it it's fairly obvious by now that is the strategy. Like they're they're copying Xbox's strategy. The only wrinkle there is that they're doing it a bit later. You know, they're not doing day and date. You know, with PC, they're going to wait a bit because they also did a sneaky announcement that Miles Morales was coming to PC uh, like the um a bit later in the year as well. And Miles Morales isn't that old, so I think that time window is going to be really shrinking. You know, um, between PlayStation launch and, and PC launch, which is going to piss more and more people off. Um. So, you know, but that is the strategy. Though. They've outright said it. They've outright said they're going to move their games to different platforms to um, increase revenue. So, yeah, yeah. makes sense. <clears throat> All right. That's the news done. Cool. We're here. It's that time of the year. <sighs> it's exciting. It's exciting stuff. It is. Very exciting. The Xbox Bethesda showcase is nigh. Next Sunday. Uh, 6 p.m. for us. That's GMT. No, it's not. It's BST. Yeah, BST. Uh, so we seem to think that Xbox should show is going to be 90 minutes long. Uh, no confirmation yet. You know, we're all just still speculating. Could be longer. Could be longer. Could be sure. Yeah. Um, and beforehand, we've got the Tribeca Games first. We've got the Summer Games first running. You know, essentially through the week as well. So we'll see bits and bobs through them. Uh, through through those shows uh, but i just wanted to quickly put it out there because just so we can kind of put a line through them for the conversation in the tribeca games first we've spoken about this in previous episodes it's on the saturday but as dusk falls and a plague's tale are being shown there um, okay we know as dusk falls is xbox pc um plagues the reason i brought plague's hell up is because it's Games past day one. It's multiplat, but they they said last year it's games past day one, which is obviously pretty huge. Um, mm. So I'm assuming we'll get a release date for that, um, and I assume we won't see it again at the show. No. Yeah, we won't. Yeah, no, that's that, that's good to clear up because I did have a look at uh, those, and I was just like, no, like potentially as a prediction, but yeah, it's good to clear up that they won't actually be in the Xbox Bethesda. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so really, what I want to do here, you know, not too dissimilar from last week, I want to walk through, uh, you know, studio by studio, and just have a little chat or a little chit chat about what we think is going to turn up, uh, what's not going to turn up, and why. Uh, we're obviously not going to be going over Activision here. That doesn't make any sense, um, barring maybe a conversation around one particular action RPG that recently had a companion game released on mobile. Maybe that one. Um, uh, Sea of Thieves, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see a Blizzard take on Sea of Thieves. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So, uh, right. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly. Okay. So, I and I, I you know, I've got to give a shout out to um, who? What name have I put? Is it Souls Ninja? 
Uh, is that the name yeah, I've put there? Yes, yeah, Souls Ninja, that's right. Because we're, we're using this wonderful graphic that I think circulated on Twitter like a, a week or two ago. It's um, very nice. That shows all the Xbox projects and then there's like color coding, you know, whether it's confirmed, leak or rumor. Ah, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so big shout out to Souls Ninja, who, wherever you may be and whoever you are, I hope you have a great day. This, yeah. is, this has really made my life easier for today. Yeah. Um, so, um, Tim, um, yes. we'll go left to right across this um, graphic then and we'll start. We've always got to start with one of the difficult ones. 343. Three. Um, do we think 343, three, in any capacity, makes an appearance at the showcase? No. You don't think at all? I don't think at all, no. I mean, what what would they have to, to show? So, uh, I just don't, I don't think they're going to give any update on like Halo Infinite. I don't think anything big is going to be coming to that with the season two launch and everything like that. And they're, they're, they're not going to take up time to just be like a new game mode or something like that. Like, mm, I just don't, I, I just think really they see. might. You think? I think they might. Uh, the reason, so there are a couple of reasons why I think they might. First is that Halo has, I don't think Halo has ever missed an Xbox showcase. It's always okay. at a showcase. I, I think, you know, I, I look back over the last three years, it's always there. Um, you know, obviously there might be a year where it hasn't been, at, but I, I think it's been at every single showcase. Um, and it's not uncommon for Xbox to just do like a quick one minute, sh- like, or a couple of minutes, you know, f- to, to have like a new season update. Or, you know what I mean? Like Sea of Thieves has them regularly at these shows. You know, they're not very long and they're just like, oh, you know, where this is happening. Uh, you know, yeah. So maybe they... We know that campaign co-op's coming in like the next month. Um, there's probably a new event happening soon. Um, Forge is coming at the end of the year. Um, not, not even at the end of the year. Like uh, I think October they said. So you know, like three three months or so. Yeah. Um, and and there may be Tatanka, right? Project Tatanka, which is the, the the sort of Warzone Battle Royale hybrid, which certain affinity is supposedly working on. Oh yeah, I did forget about that. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've heard from some people that Tanker is a bit further out. Um, yeah, I, don't then, think, I don't think we'll see that. Yeah. So in which case it begs the question, do we see... Or like, what about a campaign? Said that weird. Campaign. <laughs> champagne. Uh, a campaign champagne expansion. Um, you know, we know that that's something 343 want to do. And we know that they trademarked the Endless, like, shortly after the game's launch. So I think those are kind of the, I think that, that those are the three bundles of speculation. It's either like just a very quick roundup of like what's coming, you know, campaign co-op, forge, yeah. next uh, event, maybe the first drop pod. You know, they've said they're doing these drop pods um, with like lots of updates. Maybe like progression system. I think that's probably still a bit further off, but you know, you know what I'm getting at. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the show off to tanker, or the show off like a campaign expansion or a teaser or something. Um, okay, I mean, I guess I could be with you for a quick, a quick update to, like, maybe, you know, campaign co-op still, you know, it's on its way, and, like, um, yeah, potentially, like, the a new uh, event or something like that, a little gameplay trailer or something like that, potentially, I don't think we'll see uh, Tachanka or whatever it was called. Um, Tachanka, yeah. Tachanka, um... And I don't think we'll see a campaign expansion. 343 have very much given off this vibe at the moment um, where they just kind of kind of like fix their game and just get the basics right first. So I think they'll just want to implement a campaign co-op before uh, and making sure that works properly before they actually add any like additional content onto the campaign. Um, they've, they've very much... You know, given that impression, let's just fix what we got before we add. So I don't think we'll see an expansion of any kind to the mm. campaign. Um, yeah, yeah, so, it, it's been and you know it's been really interesting. Um, three four three is one of the more interesting ones here because it, you know I've I've heard very mixed opinions on, on on whether people think that they will be there or not, and a lot of people have been like you. They've been like, nope, they're in fix mode. Yeah. They're just going to be doing their own thing for now, and maybe we'll see them. You know, and you know it's not. Uh, uncommon for hey they did you know like uh, at the end of the year they did a campaign overview just like well just dropped it on like a tuesday you know and they, they showed off the campaign and everyone's like well cool um but i think what makes it a little bit like the, like the the wrinkle here is that um 
they want to get people excited about Halo again. Like, you know, it's, it's arguably in a little bit of a slump. Mm-hmm. It's not as bad as it was a couple of months back because there's like quite a lot of playlists now. You know, the battle pass is, is going. Um, you know, the challenges are better. Yada, yada, yada. But it's still in this bit of a slump. Um, and I think, you know, that someone's got to be looking at that and be going, we need to show something exciting on the biggest Xbox show of the year get some eyes on it and get people and maybe that comes in the form of like just a brief forge trailer or just you know like like you start we said like a brief like update number one um with camping carp and um you know and forge and this and that and the other so we'll see for the other stuff yeah I, i'm not sure a campaign expansion or to tanker is ready to go but i'd be very surprised if they didn't make use of this show to at least show something <laughs> and make people go oh that looks fun maybe i'll try halo again when that comes out you know yeah i guess so yeah kind of like a we're still here sort of vibe yeah that's that's right yeah we promise yeah. we're still here and the other sussy thing is that 343 have been very quiet on twitter um they're usually like updating weekly you know like talking to the community they've been very quiet for the last few weeks which makes me think they've been heads down um getting something sorted yeah essentially cool okay uh the coalition tim <clears throat> I don't think so. Yeah. I know they've got an unannounced project and stuff like that, but that was only leaked fairly recently, <coughs> right? Um, I don't think it is that far along, as far as I'm aware. Um, I mean, the thing hasn't even got a bloody title. I mean, like, but it's not announced, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I, I no, I don't think we'll see anything from the coalition. So, maybe with the the gears the, the whole rumored like um gears remaster pack yeah. or whatever potentially <sighs> yeah i don't maybe. yeah because i i i i think you're right there i mean i, I don't we i don't think we know how long the new you know the, the smaller new ip unreal engine 5 new ip they've been working on i don't think we know how long that's been going on for I mean, Unreal Engine 5 hasn't been out for that long, has it? I mean, maybe developers had early access to it. I, I, and obviously, Coalition are made up of like a lot of Epic, and they have very close ties with Epic. Um, so maybe that's been going on for like two or three years. You know, it depends how small and efficient the team is. I don't think it's impossible that we see this new thing from, like in terms of a, like, like a teaser, you know, a name. Yeah. Um, but if I was a betting man, and I get, you know, I, I would say no, and I guess the second thing here that we should just clarify while we're still early is that a lot of insiders have said there is a big focus on gameplay on this show. Not because they know what's happening, simply because they they know what the mission focus has been. Um, and apparently every studio or nearly every studio has been told to have something ready. They were told that last year, like have mm-hmm. some gameplay ready for this year so that Xbox can just go, you, 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 you know, depending on what looks good. Um, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's impossible. But I, yeah, I would. I'm with you. I would say no. I don't think we see Gear Six yet. Um, no. I think they take their time with that to 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 make that the that the fo- the end to that trilogy it needs to be. And yeah, if there is a Marcus Phoenix collection happening, I think now's probably the time if it's happening. I, I think that if they're gonna be there, it's gonna be for that. It won't be for anything else. I think they'll yeah. just be like relive the campaigns again in 4K you know watch yeah. your lovable characters die again in 4k <laughs> yeah um yeah i think that'll be the only the only way we see them um and actually you know now that i think about it and as i was saying my sentence as well like i genuinely think you we, we, we might see a trailer for that and and that's the sort of thing they would have gameplay for as well i think um because it's just a sort of touch up remaster right like i I'm not saying no effort's going into it, but it's not like they're just making a game from the ground up. So like it's something that they might they might have a little gameplay trailer put together for. So Oh definitely. I, I think it, I think if this is real, then then we see it in its entirety here. Yeah. Um but nobody has been able to confirm if it's a real thing or not. Yeah. Um Yeah. I, I think it just makes sense. Like they're halfway through the life cycle between Gears five and Gears Six. It's like just like what they did with Master Chief Collection, you know, they released it like halfway through the life between the life cycle of um four and five um yeah i just feel like that yeah that we we may very well see that if it's there uh and that and that could be a 2022 release um we'll see yeah, yeah we'll see 
Turn 10. I think they're a lock. Forza Motorsport uh, 8. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll see that. We'll see that. We saw it two years ago at the uh, uh, 2020 showcase, and everything was very shiny, very chrome. Ooh, <laughs> so shiny. Those, what, what was it called? With the, uh, the, like, the reflection, like, engine, the mechanic? Well, the, the ray, ray tracing. tracing? Ray yeah. tracing, yeah. So much ray tracing. <laughs> like, we, we were taking the piss, like, even, like, the coffee cup was just, like, chrome and so shiny, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Like, everything. The last thing I need to see in my coffee cup is me. Like, <laughs> like, like there's enough mirrors in the morning. I don't yeah, need exactly. that. Yeah. Scary stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a lock. I mean, I have Forza Motorsport 8 on my fantasy critic for this year so i'm going to be very angry if that's not a thing um mm. they, this team has been very quiet for a while as well it's like they have and we you know we've spoken about these rumors before that they've been working on a new engine to like um i like i think they want to actually have like a narrative through line in this game um you know I, which i don't really know if that's really been properly tried before in a racing game i'm sure it has but you know for, for forza it's new um and you know to update it to the next level forza you know you can adjust you know, like the the leather on the steering wheel and stuff like that. Um, so, I think we see this in. Um, I, I think, think it's a shoe in. Yeah. I'm. I would be happy to say yes. Forza Motorsport is going to be there. Yeah, I, I think I'm happy to put my QRP reputation on the line here. Be careful. Um, <laughs> we've got a, <laughs> we're like, we're quite a following. Yeah. Steady on. Yeah, we don't want people yeah, misquoting us. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I. I think, it, you, like you said, it's, it's the biggest event of the year. It's one of Xbox's oldest studios. It's one of their biggest IPs. We've seen it in the past. Um, yeah, I just think we're going to see it, right? Like, there's there's no better stage to put it on aside from like E3, but that's not happening. So yeah, um, yeah, I I think that's pretty much a hundred percent, and that, that that's all my. If I, I mean, I think we're going to do bingo, but yeah, that's absolutely going to be there. Yeah. Man, I'm just I'm just scrolling down this this graphic. And I'm like, this is I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. I'm so excited. I mean, we're going to be doing it in person as well. I know. Seeing each other in person. I know. I'm going to give you a great. big kiss on the forehead. Oh, the forehead. It's <laughs> easy, man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's got a bit intimate for a second. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, right, rare. Rare's next. Um, you... I think it's a rare chance we'll see them there. Do you? I thought no, no, no. We're definitely in there. I just wanted <laughs> just, to throw just, it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, no. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no, yeah. We're we're seeing like uh, I hope at least I hope we gotta be seeing Everworld, right? Just I just I don't want to know. I want to know what it is. I want to know what Everworld is. I, so I I I'm with you. In that I really want to know what Everworld is. <laughs> I'm not with you. I don't think it's there. <laughs> you don't think it's going to be there? No. The reason I say that is because... Was it like at the beginning of last year or something? I can't remember. Maybe last year. Like we had that report that supposedly Everworld was... Like having a little bit of a reboot. And they said that they were like... Still thinking about what the core gameplay loop is. And that can mean a lot of things, you know, it's hard, you know, when we, we hear that and we're like, oh, you've barely started on the game, but it, like, it doesn't necessarily, it, you know, you a lot of stuff, assets can be built, music can be done, but like, you know, just moving the pieces around to decide how the game kind of works. It's hard to really get an idea of what they mean when they say that, but uh, the reason I don't think they show it again <clears throat> is because we've seen it twice in a CGI already. So I just don't think we see this game until it's it's go time like and i don't think it's go time i think especially uh, as you said it's a kind of a gameplay focused thing like you said like uh it's they'd have to show off something pretty hefty and you know semi-final gameplay wise um yeah and yeah maybe it's just not at that stage but Uh, yeah yeah so i i mean i think if i had to guess a release window for this game this is like 2024 i don't even think this makes 23 um god which is a shame because they're really slow <laughs> they announced it so early yeah but it, yeah, yeah. We, we've spoken about this with see these before haven't we that you know they need to get this one right on launch i think um so you know i really hope they do hmm. uh and i guess you know what we should also consider which isn't just for rare but like, like you know the overall strategy of xbox and we've spoken about different marketing people that they've been bringing on that you know is 
are Xbox going to continue doing one big show in the year and then a little showing at the end of the year at the Game Awards? Because if the answer is yes, you know, that's different than if they start doing, you know, inside Xboxes, like regular inside Xboxes or, you know, rebranding, you know, in the same vein of State of Play, the same vein of um, Switch. What do they call them? Treehouse or whatever? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Just direct. Yeah, treehouse. You know. No, yeah, 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 there is a Nintendo Treehouse thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what it's called. So, you know, if they start doing something like that, then there's absolutely zero pressure to show something like Everwild. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, just yeah. show it when you're ready, you know? Um, so, I I don't think Everwild is there. I think we probably get an update on Sea of Thieves um, because they've been doing this big event around Golden Sands and, like, the community are, like, voting or doing something to decide if it gets blown up or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just going to nuke it. Um, and I think that concludes soon. I Hopefully someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but from, from what I could tell, that's what's going on. So I reckon they're going to be like, you know, oh, whoa, this has happened and this is what's next. Uh, yeah. They, we we've seen we see see these for a small slice like every year. Am I, yeah, am I wrong? Uh, yeah. That? yeah, okay. Yeah, we do, we do. Um, because I also think, I uh, rare rare recently ex- they they pulled in Halo Infinite and extended the recent season for, to, to six months. Oh God. Um, so that tells me that maybe I get same reason. You know, they might want to just generate excitement and say, "Hey, I, look, we know, we know, long season, but look what's coming." So. Short mm-hmm. update from Sea of Thieves, I think. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Uh, could you do the next one for me, please? Uh, well, play Playground. Games. Yes, Playground please. games. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess well, the, the thing we'll see from Playground games, if they do show up at all, is it's Fable, right? But I'm kind of... I'm putting Fable in the same sort of camp as Everwild, I think. Um, I, I, I just don't really think it, it's ready. Um, not, not that it's going through like develop, like potential development issues, like Everwild, and they're still figuring it out or anything. But I just think it's just, it's just early. Like, I, 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 I do just think um, it's just a bit too early to to see like substantial gameplay or a gameplay trailer from Fable. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent in the camp. I would love to see it. Like, I'm, I'm very excited for this, but. I think, I, if, if, in all honesty, I think it's more likely we see Everwild than Fable. Um. Yeah. So I guess there's a couple couple of things here. Um, overall, I think you're right. I don't think we see Fable. Um, and I, and the second thing is Forza Horizon expansions. So come back to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. There seems to be a, like a there was like a Steam database, um, like sp- someone spotted it. Uh, or maybe it was the Windows Store, I can't remember, around Forza Horizon 5 expansions, um, which is, you know, sussy timing. So I think that's yeah. probably... I think that's a lock. I think we see Forza Horizon 5 first expansion. Um, you think we'll see Forza, Motorsport, and Horizon in the same game show? Yeah. Battling for the spotlight. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, I... Yeah, I mean, I don't think it'll be long, but, you know, they do good expansions, Horizon. They get a lot of attention. Um I don't know, you know, they've done like Halo, I don't think the Halo was an expansion actually, but like Lego and Hot Wheels. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. But that'd be a good one. Maybe, oh, what about this? <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> yeah. Well, what about this? Uh, maybe they wouldn't do this for the first expansion, but this would be fun anyway. They do. Forza Horizon 5 expansion. In Albin. Fable themed expansion. Yeah, that'd be so fun. You like drive around the fancy kingdom of Albion just to, like, it's like a, to whet your appetite for, for Fable. That'd be fun. Sorry, we haven't been working on Fable uh, because we've been doing Fable in Forza. Yeah, you're going to race. Yeah. It's Fable Racers, that's it. <laughs> oh, mate. Imagine if they just, yeah, Fable Racers. <laughs> Fable it's not Cup. Actually, a, like a mainline Fable game, they just make Fable Racers. Yeah, I don't need my heart breaking again after Fable Journey. Um, yeah okay yeah yeah that's right um and so the other thing here is about fable which is that there was some like um what a popular podcaster gaz on daily over at the source right mm-hmm. shout out to the another another brit boy over there um said that he had a source who told him that 
Fable had recently been downsized um, because they were struggling to get the game to run in Forza Tech, um, which is obviously the engine uh, they use for Forza. Yeah. That was what he had heard. And it was lots of silence, lots of speculation. You know, we don't really know uh, the validity of these sorts of insiders and, and what people have. But, you know, he made that very clear that this is just from an insider. Anyway, we had then had a Fable dev. I think it was like the one of the higher up, one of the senior devs come out and say, I want to be, uh, I want to clear up something up about scoping. It's a normal, necessary and healthy part of game development. I can guarantee that every single AAA game you've ever played will have gone through scoping regularly during development. Yeah. Um, so essentially she came out to address the rumors, it seems, and just say, well, like, yeah, but like this, we're nothing, there's nothing to worry about. It's <laughs> like, yeah, it's normal. Yeah. And I think this is quite funny because this is the sort. Of, this is what happens when you have, like, if I ever got an in, if I ever got an insider, I'm here by the way, my, my ear is open and my lips are sealed. Um, like I would be the same in the sense that when you have devs who are very specialised in this sort of thing, sharing information with plebs like us, you know, you'd be like, oh, so it means that when it doesn't, you know, we don't know like the regular routines or like how things usually work. So it's very easy for us to hear something and be like there's there's a problem when really you know they're just telling you oh we, you know this week's been hard because it's been challenging and then like all jobs are and then yeah. we're like fable's in trouble so, <laughs> yeah but that's no. it i don't so. think there's anything to worry about i think it's it's quite normal in terms of a development process to go yeah. through scoping and changing things and prioritizing um but yeah Regardless, uh, yeah, I think we'll see Forza Horizon. Like, I, I could, I could bank on that. Um, and Fable is a big no-no for me. Yeah, and I think the, the final piece of the puzzle that really um, sort of cements that for me is that Fable have still been hiring. Uh, like, Play, Playground have still been hiring for Fable. Like, they only hired a design, uh, narrative director eighteen months ago or something, if I remember. Yeah. So, like, nah, I think Fable's twenty-four. Um, yeah, I would agree. Which is a shame. I think it's a bit annoying because, like, Phil originally like announced, like, teased this in like 2018 or something. Mm. I remember him saying, "Oh, like, Playground are working on an uh, on an open world RPG." RPG, and he obviously didn't say Fable, and we didn't get an official announcement until 2020. But it was like, I don't know. Like, a lot of people are going to feel like this game has been in the oven for a long time, which it makes sense because they're you know a racing studio. But you know, whatever. Yeah. Ninja Theory. What do you think, Tim? Yes. We've seen gameplay for it in the past. Not not too long ago. I think we'll see gameplay again. Interesting. I think we'll see another slice. Another little slice. Combat slice. Mm. Um, and it's a big deal. I think uh, I think Hellblade 2 is, is very, very big. Um, and deserves a stage and a spotlight like this um and yeah like i said we've actually seen gameplay slices from it in the past right so i don't think it's too out there to expect another one um maybe with like a narrative over it as well um yeah yeah. i I don't think it's impossible but i've got to be honest my gut is leaning no um okay the reason for that is that I think that this is a late 2023 game. And if that's the case, why not show it next year? Like we don't need to see this game again, 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 you know? Yeah. It just depends on how they're doing for the show. Like if they've got enough stuff lined up, then I don't think it needs to be there, but they obviously could if they wanted to. Um, And the one thing that people, even though we saw that gameplay, which was, you know, like hyper realistic, very like interesting set piece at the game awards, it didn't show combat and combat and like maybe the, the world, you know, is it like linear, like kind of like the first Hellblade was, or is it different? I think those are the biggest questions that people have about the game. So I, I am still leaning towards no. I still think they save this for next year, but maybe they surprise us. Like maybe they maybe they do just show up and say, like, here's combat, you know, uh, we're, and, and like maybe, maybe the release window, holiday 2023, um, mm. you know, catch you next year for the final, you know, final showing, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm leaning more in the camp that we'll see it, which is quite interesting. The mm. fact that we both think different, you know, who's right? Yeah, well, I guess it's, it's just it's just because we've seen it so recently. I just I'm just not sure they'll they'll want to they'll show it again. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. You do have a point. 
Cool, okay. I am ma- taking receipts, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've kind of been writing down ones that I think, um, like, at, and then, like, at the end, I'm going to reel off ones that I think we'll see. Sort of right. like a little mini bingo. Yeah. yeah, okay, great. Um, next up is the initiative team with Perfect Dark. Mm, I don't know. I think I think it's a no, based on what 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 we've been hearing and the struggles they're kind of having. I don't I don't think they're they're confident enough and far enough along to show anything. Yeah, um, it'd be cool and it would be an absolute show stealer. I think like it'd be a really really big deal. I just don't think I just don't think it's it's quite there yet. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement. Um, there's been trouble with that studio. Devs leaving, coming and going. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and was that uh, the one that enlisted enlisted like Crystal help Dynamics? from like another studio, Crystal Dynamics? Yeah. And people that's were right. just like, "Oh, it's, it's dying." <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 no way we see Perfect Dark. Um, I, I could see maybe a follow-up CGI trailer, but if they're wanting to focus on gameplay, nah, just save it for next year. No rush to see this game. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that game is probably 24 again. Yeah. yeah. We're okay. going to be saying that a lot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. No games till 2024. <laughs> Undead Labs, Tim. Yes. I'm actually... I'm, I'm oddly positive... Um, I I mean I think there's a, an equally high chance we don't, but I'm going to put it down as a little spicy little timbit, um, and I think we're going to see some state of decay three. You know what, Tim? I think so too. Wow, it's not a spicy Tim pick now. You fucking you cucked me, dude. I no because I was <laughs> I I think yeah no I think this is just a spicy QR pick because I think this is spicy. Um, like they can't. I don't know because it, it, it's just difficult to gauge simply because state. When did State of Decay two even come out? Twenty seventeen. Oh, two. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, I, I'm inclined to say twenty seventeen. Actually, I think it was um, earlier. And you know, typically you'd look at that release year and you'd be like, "Oh, that means they've been working on this for five years." Wow, what a long time. Um, twenty eighteen, eighth of May, twenty eighteen. Okay, so four years, but they obviously supported that game quite a lot quite heavily supported that game with, with quite a lot of updates and expansions and they, they did you know it wasn't just adding to the to the world into the sandbox you know there was an expansion that was like just a narrative mode um you know they, they yeah. kind of went out their way to make some different types of stuff so yeah, i i think i i acknowledge that this this is spicy you know i think it's very possible this doesn't show up and and i wouldn't be surprised either but because we saw it in CGI form two years ago. Longer? They... Was it not the 2019 E3? No, no, announced 2020. It was the 2020. one they opened with where she screamed at a zombie deer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I know the one, yeah. It's been, it's been a long time, yeah. I think we could see something. I don't know if we do see gameplay. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this is just another minute-long CGI, but they just say, you know, to give us a, an idea of what is happening in this game. Is it that mmo light? game that they've always wanted to make is it just state of decay 2 but you know more money more polish thing. more budget you know yeah give us that yeah. yeah right exactly um but i think i think state of decay state of decay 3 could could show up yeah i'm actually yeah yeah i i'm i'm in agreement um it's 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 it's, it's up there for me um and I, I think I'll be kind of disappointed if it doesn't, because um, I'm quite excited just to see what it is and what direction they're taking it. Because I've always had such high expectations, um, or, or what, expectations. It's got a special place in our heart, I think. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just of what it could be. Um, and yeah, um, um, I think it's quite a spicy pick. I think it, I think it's quite funny that we we kind of both think the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. Maybe it's more hope than any sort of <laughs> like realistic yeah, exactly. uh, guesswork. Yeah. Okay, compulsion games. No. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. Uh, Project Midnight is their their the, the the one that they've been working on following We Happy Few. Yes. Can you give me a quick Google for when We Happy Few launched? That's got to be like 2015, right? Sure. Oh, actually, having said that, we released sure. into 
Yeah, so it, it released into uh, early access, didn't it? So, yeah. I mean, I've got here July, 26th of July, 2016. I don't know if that's the early access. It must be because it, it, it didn't actually go full launch for a while. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So the full game seeing a wide release on PlayStation 4, Windows and Xbox One in August 2018. Okay. So early access 2016, full release across platforms 2018. Okay, so same time frame as under Labs between games then. And again, that's a game that got quite a lot of post-launch love. Um, yeah. I think we see. I think we see compulsion. You think we? You, you think we see uh, one both uh, an announcement of the, what the game is called and what it is, and yeah. a gameplay slice. You think we see all of that? Uh, yeah, I think we do. That's I think we do. Cool. We'll see. I'm gonna say no. Piece of shit. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you agree on everything. <laughs> I just um, don't. I just. I, I. I think that's just a lot. Like, I think Xbox acquired Compulsion Games in 2018, and they're like, "It's been four years, boys. Do something. Time to show something." <laughs> yeah. Um. And I also think you know we, we spoke about we spoke about this on our on our tier list video. Um. But this is a studio that Phil has specifically called out for their creative talent, and everybody saw. Like the the promise, the juices uh, in you know uh, in, in We Happy Few. It's a dark fantasy third person action adventure game. We've seen some leaked concept art. We spoke about this like last year, Tim, like one of our earlier episodes. And there was like harpy people with like wings, and they look really spooky. Uh, and it's like it's given off this like cool vibe um, based on what we've seen so far. Um, I think this could be really really exciting. I think there could be like a CGI with a bit of gameplay spliced in that sort of trailer. Um, yeah. But just CGI wouldn't surprise me either. Um, yeah. I think we see project midnight project velvet is their other uh, uh, project, <laughs> uh, which is not announced yet. So yeah, just one. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced, but yeah, potentially. Cool. You know? All right. That's good. Obsidian Tim. Yeah, so there's, there's quite a lot here, isn't there? There's quite a lot we could potentially see from Obsidian. Um, All of them. <laughs> I don't think we see Outer Worlds 2. Um, I, I am in the same sort of boat as I am with State of Decay 3, where I just feel like Avowed has been so, so long silent, and I feel like they just need to show something, just to... Just to remind people it's still a thing. Um, whether it's gameplay or not, I don't know. But, I mean, e- even the teaser we kind of saw way back in 2020, that was kind of like an in-engine sort of teaser anyway, right? So, like, I, I say we're going to see some some kind of in-engine footage from I think about a lock. I think about yeah. a lock. Yeah. Um, I think they just kind of... They kind of just need to, um, for just the sake of, of the game being remembered and brought back into the, the, the spotlight. Um, and from the fact that when we saw it, like I said, it was kind of an engine anyway, and that was a long time ago. Um, so, yeah. Not only do I think Avowed's a lock, Tim, I think Avowed is going to blow the bloody doors off. That day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> dropping into Games Pass today. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Install it and get fifty pound free Xbox credit and a pizza. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think they're going to show gameplay for Avowed. Uh, I don't think it will be like a full walkthrough, you know, like a like a big. But I think there will be a gameplay trailer, uh, and I think everyone's going to fall in love with that game more than like because at the moment people are very much in love with the vibe and the and then the tone. But yeah, uh, I think people are going to really really love what they see. I uh, think. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in agreement. I think we'll see it there, and I think um, I am going to love it. I think I'm going to blow my load all over your ceiling. Um, <laughs> my ceiling? <laughs> your ceiling. <laughs> I didn't start it. I didn't even see wall oh. ceiling. Um, and then I think just based on the fact that I think we're pretty confident we'll see it about. I, uh, Outer Worlds 2, I think, is a no. I think it's just it's just not... I think it's a late next year game at best. Yeah. Um, Outer Worlds then, was 2019, wasn't it? So Yeah, it really hasn't been that long. Um, and then I just don't think we'll see Grounded. I, I, I just think if they're going to show anything and we're fairly convinced there's going to be a bow, I just don't think they'll 
bother showing anything else. They'll just let a bow just sit in that spotlight and suck it all up. Here's where you're wrong, kiddo. Screw you, man. <laughs> Obsidian, every time Obsidian have showed up, I say every time, I think like once. Wait, wait actually, hang on, were they there last? They were. Every time Obsidian have shown up since they're being acquired, they show up with more than one thing because they're psychopaths and they juggle like 20 different projects at a time. Last year, it was Grounded and Outer Worlds, you know, the CGI announcement. It was. The year before, they showed everything. It was the Outer Worlds 1 expansion. They showed the Avowed CGI trailer and then obviously, obviously they showed Grounded. I think we get a Grounded 1.0 release. Game still in preview. Yeah. Uh, I think you're right. I think we see Outer Worlds too. Uh, but we see Josh Sawyer's Pentiment, right? We've spoken about this before. Uh, you think you know, so? A detective game in the style of Disco Elysium. Supposedly, it's coming out this year. Oh. So, this is actually kind of interesting because I think the, the readiness of this game and how it looks could actually like take away from any gameplay we get from Avowed. In the sense that if this, like, if they need to leave an impression for late 2022, they show us a bigger gameplay demo of Pentiment, and they're like, yeah, this looks great. Josh Joyz is a well-renowned, you know, um, director. Uh, and uh, Avowed is late 2023. We can show off that again next year, you know? Yeah. So I think yeah. if this is happening, and this is happening this year, I think we get small Avowed gameplay trailer, like, moderate-sized Pentiment reveal, Gameplay show, uh, a really state. Okay. You think we're going to see the trip, the trip from Obsidian? What does that Three mean? Three games. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think we do. That's crazy. They're mental. That's what they do. Um, got a lot of in the they've got a lot in the oven. Um, the whole grounded thing. I, I completely forgot that I was actually still in preview. Um, actually, completely on board with them. Just being like, it's out of preview now. Um, and and it's coming with out now. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, actually, I again, I just forgot that was a thing. So as you said it, I was like, absolutely, yeah. So I, I, th- I think we'll see a vowed and grounded. Um, I'm not too sure about the the other project, but yeah, if it's supposedly got a this year release date, and and like you said, a vowed is just they're just kind of teasing and keeping people on the hook. Um, you know, then p- potentially, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely and i guess this is um because i've seen this come up in conversation online on twitter and everything um there is a conversation i'm not going to get anyone's hopes up because i'm you know take this with a barrel of salt there is a conversation about the possibility of a vow being pulled forward oh my god um we know obsidian are a hyper efficient studio mm-hmm. um Starfield and Red Red Four gone. Do we think that there's like a possibility that Phil's gone to Obsidian and been like <laughs> Yeah. Please. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh, yes. Can you make it happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holiday twenty twenty two. I don't think it's impossible, but you know, I don't think it's I don't think it's likely because we've seen, you know, we saw well, I mean, having said that, we've seen as much of Alan as we have Starfield. We've seen in, in, in engine for both. Yeah, I don't think it's impossible. I, just, I think it's really unlikely. I think they would rather they don't want to risk to, to compromising the quality. Exactly. Yeah. I think I think it's a nice little pipe dream, um, but I don't I don't think so. Yeah, they're like December thirty first, twenty twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Cool, man. Let's move on to NXR. Uh, okay. In Exile, Wasteland came out 2020? 20... I can't remember. Yeah, 2019 or 20... Uh, Wasteland 3. Release date. Uh, yeah, 2020, August. August as well. Right, so... Nope. <laughs> we ain't seeing this. <laughs> uh, I, don't I don't think it's impossible... Anything. I don't think it's impossible that we see a like, brief CGI trailer. Again, if they're just wanting to fill this game, this, this showcase up with gameplay, maybe they just, they just leave it for now. Um, I think I don't think we'll see it in XR. 
I just think Xbox has gotten into this habit of doing like CGI. Well, we'll see this year, but like CGI reveal, gameplay reveal, release, like yeah. over the over the three year period. Um, and if that's the case, that would kind of line this up for a small like title reveal and you know, uh, uh, like tone setter basically. Um, yeah. And to maybe get people interested, like in the hiring process, just like get a name out there so people can, you know, search for it and uh, try and hire up. Uh, I'm going to say no overall. Yeah, I don't think we'll see too. it at all, but I, I don't think a CGI is impossible. And that's for Project Cobalt, which is supposedly their steampunk AAA first person RPG, which I'm very yeah. excited about, actually. Yeah, it's a very cool premise. It's a very cool idea. Um, but I'm very much in agreement where I just don't think we see in XL. Yeah. Double fine, Tim. Double fine. Double fine. Just release Psychonauts. Got to be a no. Yeah. It's too, it's too, it's too quick. Yeah, it's too quick to turn over there. Um, yeah, I just don't, I just don't think they're going to release, like you said, Psychonauts 2. Yeah. Um, an absolute banger and then just be like here's something else um yeah and, and coming out like this year or something like that if they're going to be potentially showing gameplay or whatever like that i just think it's that that's too far-fetched um there's only so much you can slave drive the studio yeah I and mean, we know they've got multiple things uh announced like I don't, they've never done. I don't think this team has ever done expansions before. I don't think it would be impossible that for the first time they tried their hand at a Psychonauts two expansion. Mm. Um, but I, I mean, the only reason I think that could happen is if that they have a contract with. Ah, uh, I can't remember who they released Psychonauts two under. Sorry, I just need to have a quick look. It's gonna bug me. Well, you know what I mean. Because they, they were with a multi plat publisher um, for Psychonauts two, and they might have had a contract. You're gonna release. An expansion. Uh, yeah. Okay. Potentially. Oh, were they going to self-publish? Oh, yeah. It, it, it was published by, by Xbox. Okay. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. That, that makes total sense. That's why. Because they picked them up and then they funded it a lot. Yeah. And that makes total sense. In which case, no, like, I don't see them making an expansion and then being like, it's just coming to Xbox. <laughs> like, it's not happening, is it? Um, no. And I think like Tim Schafer, the, the the studio leader, said before that he likes to switch between projects. Like he generally doesn't like doing sequels. Like Psychonauts Two was an exception. Um, yeah, a few out unannounced projects, but too soon for this team, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we won't see him. No. Next up, we've got World's Edge, responsible for Age of Empires, etc., etc. The team do seem to have teased. Um, We're getting it on console. It's Maybe coming. a console release announcement. Um, and the, the other thing that they've teased is a uh, Age of Mythology game. Um, which I still think would be too soon for. I, I'm assuming they'd run it off the same engine and everything that they made Age of Empires in. So I can't imagine it would mm -hmm. be a game you know that takes five, six years. But I still think it's too soon. Uh, yeah, I agree, I think. I think we might get a console release. We get a console release, release window, day. release yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, VOE console. Yes. Okay. Mojang. Who? Yeah, who? I don't know. Blockheads. Who, who Mojang? Ah, oh, the Minecrafters. Yeah, the Minecrafters. That's right. Um. Allegedly, two Minecraft spin-off titles in development. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons came out when? 2020? Yeah, 2020. Right. And so I think this is interesting because I've always said that, you know, <laughs> everyone says Xbox do not leverage this IP at all. No, they don't. And I understand it's Minecraft. Like, by all means, you know, keep the main game multiplat. Dungeons, I don't see why it wasn't. Not that it would have been, you know, it would have blown the world away because, you know, it was received, like, good, but not incredible. Mm. Um, But I don't know. I just feel like spin-off games, they should be locking down to Xbox, but so whatever. 
e- either way, I-, I think it's too soon. This studio does whatever the fuck they want, so no. Yeah, <laughs> like they're not exactly. turning up. They're still pulling in enough money with just Minecraft, so yeah. I don't think they're under any time constraints um, specifically. Uh, yeah, I don't think we see Mojang. We never see Mojang, so we're not going to see it. Yeah, so. I'm with you. All right, well, that, that, that does it for the whole Xbox Game Studio suite. So now we've got a couple of things around publishing to speak about. And, you know, in, in this category, we've got a lot of, like, uh, project names that, you know, mostly Jez Corden from Windows Central has, has, has leaked. Um, so a couple of things to speak about here. Um, a Sobo with Flight Sim, I don't think they show up. I think they're doing their own thing. Um mm-hmm. Not impossible that they show the next expansion or like a brief trailer for Top Gun Maverick, which is already out, the expansion for that. And nobody's reviewing it, which is so annoying because it's on my fancy critic. (laughs) So I'm getting absolutely screwed this year. Yeah, no, I'm having the same issue with a couple of my games. Risk of Rain 2, the expansion. Yeah, it's just not getting enough reviews. Is it just a dead game for me? Do I just never... You can't drop it either. Yeah, Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, it's annoying. Uh, we've got Interior Knights working out on As Dusk Falls, which we clarified earlier at the Tribeca Game Fest the day before. Mm-hmm. Yep. We've got Avalanche Studios working on Contraband. Ooh. Saw Contraband last year. What do we think? I don't think we see it again. Was that last year? Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was the same. It was the same one we saw Redfall and Starfield. Yeah. Mm. Good trailer that. It was a good trailer. Yeah, I don't think we see it. <laughs> you you don't think we see it? I don't think we see it. I think we see it. Really? Yeah, I think we see it. Um, I mean, you're an idiot. <laughs> am I? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, the reason I say that is because I think... I, I have heard chatter that this was a game that was supposed to come out earlier. Like, it had a target release date of, like, last year. But that's not abnormal, like, pandemic. Like, you know, it's pushed games back by years. Uh, and supposedly yeah. they have missed a few milestones as well earlier on. Um so, but I but I do think this is a game we see gameplay for. Don't know why. Just have a hunch. Um, It'd be awesome because we've been speculating how the fuck this game is going to look, and like, yeah. what, like it's such a weird concept of a game. So I'd absolutely be down. Um, An eighties co op heist game, like hello, that's mainly driving combat based. They, yeah, they said all the combats yeah. like vehicle and co- uh, yeah stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's it's very interesting. I would love to see it. Yeah, like, I think it's a very cool game. I just don't think we will. But I'm prepared to eat my own words, and I'm mm. sure they'll be delicious. No, I I think it's a bit spicy of me to I like I I if I had to bet money on it, I wouldn't bet money on it. But I'm not betting money on it, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say not money on this. It's... Did you not get my message that we're doing like a two hundred and fifty pound. Like Paul, two hundred and fifty pound. We're gonna take all. I yeah. thought it was two pound fifty. I'm out. Oh. <laughs> I can't keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna be two two fifty, dude. I'm gonna be broke with all these picks. <laughs> okay, contraband. Next up, we know. Well, supposedly, I am interactive developers of the Hitman trilogy are working on Project Dragon, hyper ambitious third person fantasy RPG MMO light. We haven't uh, spoken about this in a while. Everybody's very excited about it. But nah. Nah. We'd be really surprised. We'd be very happy. It's just, it's very, it's hard to like speculate on project names because the only thing you can really go by is when you heard of it and what the insider said about it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, But I guess like Hitman 3 has still been going. Like Hitman 3 just got uh, like a trilogy collection or something, didn't it? Um. Something like that, yeah. And it so recently I, came to Games Pass and drummed up a lot of hype as well. Yeah, that's right. So I, I don't know. I just don't think this has been in debt. Or like if it is in dev, it sounds very ambitious. It's, so, you know, it's been maybe prototyping, you know, wireframing, you know, all of that stuff for, for a long, long time. Um, so no. no. No from me. No from me too. Um, We've got things here. And I'm just going to reel through these. Yeah. Project Indus, Project Shaolin, Project Belfry, uh, Project Vonnegut, Project Suerte, uh, Tatanka we've already spoken about. Uh, then we've got 
an unannounced clown project supposedly from Kojima and a possible GoldenEye remaster. My understanding here is that Belfry is quite far along uh, yes. from Stoic Studios. That's that's the one that I've I've kind of it rung a bell for me immediately when you were reeling them all off, and I was just like, I I remember yeah hearing about that one and it's inner workings. Um, yeah, that one stands out to me as the most likely. Yeah, we've, much. we've spoken about it a few times, and I think uh, Stoic Studios is Banner Saga. Do you know of Banner Saga? I've heard of it. Yeah. Um, and I think the last game they did was a while back. So I think, like, I think Belfry is possible, especially you know, well, obviously if it's if it's if it's targeting this year. Um, so I, I think Belfry. I'm going to say we see Belfry um, with some gay play. Um, I think was it somebody said that it was like looking a little bit like Castle Crashers. <laughs> um, because it's a side-scrolling brawler, but it has you know like a lot of mechanics. Like it's not like an indie game like Castle Crashers was. It's like double A maybe. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's like a multiplayer element to it, um, but I'm excited to see that. I, I love like Stoics other stuff like Banner Saga has this really like awesome art style. Um, mm-hmm. But there's not much else we can say about it other than that. I think that'll be there. Okay. Project Indus is coming from Oxide Games, which frankly know nothing about other than that it's meant to be a. 4x uh like strategy game uh you know 4x strategy like um i don't i don't know if age of empires is considered 4x but that's like the genre um okay. it would be i think it would be a pc game mm-hmm. yeah it sounds like it and i don't know if that's the sort of thing you announce at this show i mean what do you think do you think they like would announce this just to be like oh just a reminder to all pc like you know xbox pc players we, we love you. Here you go. Or do you think that they maybe do this as a separate thing? Yeah, I think they'll do it as a separate thing. I don't think we'll see it. No, I don't either. We've got Project Shaolin, <laughs> the Wu Tang action RPG. I'm going to say no, Tim, because no. <laughs> that, I, it, every time I think of that, a giant question mark spins around in my head and I don't understand yeah. what it means. That's a big fan, though. They're probably still trying to figure out what it means as well themselves. Yeah, that's right. Project Vonnegut. Um, we don't know. We don't know anything about who's making that, other than that it possibly could be Shadowrun, and I'm pretty sure that comes from Jeff Grubb, and that that has people excited because Shadowrun is a very beloved IP that Xbox owns. Um, but not enough to no. comment on that. So we're going to draw a line through it. Yeah. Uh, okay let's we've got a big one here tim killer instinct we've spoken for for ages about back and forth about the possible revive of killer instinct after its debut in 2014 2013 yeah one of those two what do you think do you think xbox have firstly managed to find a developer capable of doing this and that they've managed to make it on the low. No. I don't think so. I think potentially they found like a developer for it, but that's not enough for us to see it at this show. Um, and for them to announce it or something like that is something they could they'll just do on their own time. Um, so like there's no there's no reason for me to say they haven't found a home for it, but to find a home for it and to have have it developed with potential gameplay or a hefty CGI trailer. No, I as a big fan, no, to be honest. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't, and especially, I think that the pressure is off now that Street Fighter is confirmed to be on Xbox. Like, they sure. don't need to fill that gap now. Um, you know, supposedly, this is not a franchise that Xbox have left to die. Like, they still want to find, like, creatives to work on it, but it's just trying to find the right, you know, they're in high... Uh, they're like a commodity, you know, fighting game uh, developers. So, mm-hmm. nah. No. Certain Affinity. We've spoken about Tatanka, but we also have spoken about before them doing a Monster Hunter like game yeah. under the under the title Project Swerte. Tim, I think we see this, and the really? reason I say that, yeah, the reason I say that is because 
I don't, firstly, I don't know what Certain Affinity has been up to, but secondly, the fact that they've publicly announced, uh, like, deepening relationships with 343s, 343, makes me think that there has, like, ink has dried on a few, a couple of deals between Certain Affinity and Xbox, and it has been, like, it's been in talks for a while. I don't know if we see this, I, I think it's probably just, like, a CGI announcement, mm-hmm. but I, I think there's a chance we see this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a spicy one. It is a spicy one. I don't really know <laughs> really much about it, or, or like you said, what they're up to. Um, so I guess sometimes silence can be a good thing, right? Um, I'm also just trying to will it into existence. You know, it's like a prayer circle. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Something to tie us over uh, to Monster Hunter World too. Exactly, and I, I think certain affinity are an incredible developer. Um, but yeah, you know, I I wouldn't be surprised if. If it wasn't for the whole fucking like what what's going on with Activision Blizzard at the moment, I think Xbox would be eyeing them up for an acquisition. But that's a conversation okay. we'll have in a bit. Um, the Kojima project, I'm saying no. Nope. Big fat no. Yeah. Don't think there's much to talk about there. I just think that's a way off. No, we haven't heard anything else about it. Like it's still in like the managerial phase, you know, like planning exactly. with lawyers, things like that. From what we last yeah. heard, so. Uh, and the last thing from publishing is a GoldenEye 007 remaster. We don't know the deg- the d- to the degree like of a remaster that it is, if it's more like remakey or more, more remastery. Mm. But what we do know is the reason that we know about this publicly, because we don't know who's making it, is because there was an achievement uh, popped up on somebody's, I can't remember, on someone's account like last year. And this week... An achievement popped up on a rare member of Saf's account <laughs> for, the, really? for this game. This oh, is a wow. luck for me. This is how you think. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I was kind of inclined to saying no, but then I haven't been following up or keeping up with it. And then as you were talking, I was just like, oh, okay, because achievements do they they give the impression it's extremely far along if not finished. I mean, achievements are one of the last things you probably yeah. approach um, when doing a game, right? Um, so yeah, it sounds like a sounds like a bit of a lock to me as well, to be honest. And I think like Microsoft has gotten quite snug with like these 4K, you know, performance boosted remasters. Like Quake is one that comes to mind. Mm-hmm. There are some others that I can't remember right now. Um, and you know, they're they're like popular. You know, they're, they're people go back and play them. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like I played this game quite a lot when I was little, and I'm actually kind of interested to see how it's aged aged so like yeah. pop that in games pass I'd, I'd probably play it for a couple of hours so i would be interested yeah um, it'd be a crispy little shooter that you we could all play um yeah. like four player yeah so i think right. i think it could be pretty fun yeah um for and sure. obviously on the the other side of this is like oh if this is like a bigger scale remake remake you know obviously that would be like kind of a big deal i, I don't think it's happening I'm leaning more to the fact it's just a bit of a touch up. It's just 4K textures, and it's just it's the same game. It's nostalgia. Um, I think it's what they're going for. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I suppose the other, the only other thing here is that we um, we don't know. Like the license of that game is supposedly you know like in the ether, and it's like does this game release on Switch as well? Because um, it's like. Like, I don't know if Rare own it in its entirety or if Nin- Nintendo still, like, own the game rights to it. Or, like, you know, I don't know yeah. how any of that works. So I think it's very, very possible we see, like, releasing very soon or today on Xbox and Switch. Yeah, I, I could see a same-day drop for this. Yeah, 100%. It's a, if, if it's, like, a, one of those remasters rather than a remake, it's very much the sort of thing you, you drop, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Agreed. All right, everyone, we're on to our final category of predictions. We're over at Bethesda now. Whew. Big. Oh, it's been hefty, isn't it? Yeah, it really has. Um, all right, so we're starting with Bethesda Game Studios. Um, I, I mean, Starfield's, Starfield's a lock. Starfield's a lock. <laughs> Starfield's a lock. I think we see a gameplay walkthrough. Uh, if we see like a proper Todd Howard, you know, 30 minute gameplay walkthrough, I'm going to say we don't because there'll be some time to show it off next year and Bethesda are still independent and they'll do their own, you know, proper showings as we get close to release. But I think we see 
a substantial chunk of gameplay to get a real yeah. feel for what the game is and how it behaves and what the systems are. Yes, Starfield. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Um, Fallout seventy six or Elder Scrolls six, Tim. Think we see anything from that? Um, well, Fallout seventy six has got a lot of stuff in the works for this year, isn't it? I remember it they they threw out a, a large roadmap um, for that and how that's going to work. So I think we'll see a Fallout seventy six. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Small um, update. Yeah, they they're very fond of that game, um, Bethesda, and and it's it's definitely it's improving every single time. Um, they don't want it to die. Um, I think we see it. Yeah. And Elder Scrolls 6 will be there as well, won't it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to get like a 45-minute gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think, it, again, it might be a same-day drop game pass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, gives you 50 quid, gives you a pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, no, we're not, we're yeah. not fucking seeing that game. <laughs> they, they only announced their game because they felt bad about Fallout 76. Like, no joke. Todd came out yeah, on stage and he was cool. like, sorry, <laughs> he is Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, yeah, we're not seeing that game. Like, mate, I'd be surprised if we even see like that game in in decent capacity next year. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we're not yeah. a while off. Yeah. Uh, although, although, I'm glad I remembered this. Um, oh, the is like something to do with like remastering the old games. A little bit, yeah. So, like, um, because. What that means, obviously, if Elder Scrolls 6 is a while out, how fucking far away is Fallout? <laughs> like, we're going to be 50 by the time the next Fallout comes out. Um, yeah. And that, obviously, that you know, there, there has been some speculation that there are maybe some remasters going on, you know, not just in the Fallout franchise, but in the Elder Scrolls franchise as well. Is there a, a New Vegas 2 happening, right? Obviously, it was made by Obsidian in the past. It's a Dream Team combination that Obsidian picks that up. Like, mm-hmm. but... You know, by God, Obsidian are already doing a lot. Yeah. So, do we see? You know, and I, I'm somewhat, I'm somewhat inclined to say that Bethesda would announce something else like that here because they very much are quite. Their their marketing is quite self aware, and I think like like with Elder Scrolls, when there's a misstep in the PR department, they usually offer something else. So you, know? you think because of the blunder with Starfield and the potential delay, they're going to be like, oh, we're also doing remasters yeah. for Oblivion and for fucking leave Skyrim out. Don't yeah. Start. Can you imagine if that's where they started? We're remaking Skyrim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're re, 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 remaking Skyrim. <laughs> um, no, no, yeah. I think you will see like Morrowind and Oblivion um, remasters um, with texture, texture updates. And yeah, maybe they'll just do like a Bethesda like family thing, and it's just like Fallout's included in there as well, and all that kind of stuff. It's just like everything lumped into one. Or there's just like an Elder Scrolls remaster saga and a Fallout remaster saga. Yeah, man. I, I don't know what it is that we see, but I think Bethesda gives us something else. Like an yeah. announcement, a title reveal, whether it's one of the Elder Scrolls or one of the um, one of the Fallouts or an announcement of New Vegas 2. I think mm-hmm. something like that gets announced as a as you know like a, a peace offering. <laughs> I think it's more likely that we'll see the remaster stuff, not New Vegas 2. But yeah. <coughs> oh. Oh my god. <coughs> Sorry. I just that's realized right. I don't have my no charger worries. in so I'm just going to very professionally plug That's, that's all good. Back in the air well, the the next one up okay. is I mean we are we done with Bethesda Game Studios. Um so we yeah. think Starfield, yes. We think Fallout seventy six, yes. And we think they'll they'll uh, wet our whistle and um, sort of soften the blow for the Starfield delay with like a potential remaster slash you. I don't think, but you think Fallout New Vegas two could be on the cards. Uh, yeah, I think something else. I think we're getting something yeah. else, and that's a remake or a Fallout New Vegas two announcement. Don't know what it is, and and whatever that is, it'll be a way off. But I just think yeah, peace offering. Yeah. 100%. Okay, Zenimax Online. Uh, whoo, what a fascinating studio. They could be doing so many things. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's so weird. Like All the speculation we've done over the last year about the studio has just been like, what's going on? Like So many different things. Um, anyway, so I think we see Zenimax Online's next project. 
You do? I do. What, what was this rumoured to be again? This wasn't the... Um, this wasn't the Star Wars one, was it? It was the Star Wars one. It was either a Starfield MMO... Oh, yeah. <laughs> or it was, yeah, like a Mando MMO. Okay. That um, would be high. That would be really, really cool. It would be high. Um, I don't think he'll be in the Starfield one. <laughs> How weird would that be? It would be so weird, yeah. This Starfield spin-off game is coming out before Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, that's, the, that's very weird. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I think we could potentially see them. Um, or who knows, maybe Elder yeah, Scrolls Online will get its 19th expansion. Yeah, well, that's I, th- I think we see an, an ESO update, new reveal, wombo combo. I think they say, okay. you know, they come out on stage, Pete Hines comes out, or whoever it, whoever's the lead of ESO, I can't remember his name. He's like a larger chap, but he's like, he's so, like, genuine. Anytime he's out on stage, I'm like, this dude loves what he does. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't remember yeah. his name. Um, and I th- so I think they show, yeah, like, here's the next expansion i think they've announced some stuff recently you know here's just a glimpse of that and by the way this is our new project whatever that is yeah i'm inclined to agree not sure if it will be again cgi or gameplay and that that is kind of i think the wrinkle with a lot of a lot of these things that we're going through in that it's like if they really are wanting to focus on gameplay then they surely are being quite you know, strict with how many CGI and title reveals they want to do. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, man, like, it's been the pandemic, you know, everything has been compressed and has got to spit out at some point. So it just, again, it depends on are they doing more shows or is it just this, you know? So I'm going to stick with yes. I think we see Zenimax Online's new game. I think some we see. Capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Running out of paper space, Tim. I'm running out. Oh I'm running out. I've got a notes. I've got a notes up on my Mac. Oh my god! Keep doing it on your Mac. No, you'll, you'll hear my finger now smacking on the keypad. I'm not. I was about to say, can you hear my when I'm typing? Uh, okay. well, uh, because... Every now and then, but like, it's not. No, not really. Okay. All right. It's not. It's not loud either. Um, id Software next. Your no. your bona fide S tier studio. Whoa. Yeah. It's, I mean, we agree it's, on it's that. Proven, it's proven. Throw me under the bus. I'm throwing you under the bus. That's just what. <laughs> that's just what. What you said. Um, no, I don't think we see him. So it's interesting because, like, there has been some loose speculation around a Quake reboot, but there hasn't. Like, it's just been speculation. Like, there's mm-hmm. absolutely nobody. Nobody. In, I don't think any insiders have said that this is a thing. It's just yeah. like the next lo- like logical step, I guess. Um, so the reason I would say no is because I think they need to do something. If they were going to do a Quake, like I don't know if they do or they do a new IP or whatever, if they were going to do a Quake reboot, they need to find a way to differentiate it from Doom. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've actually been playing the, the remaster, by the way. <laughs> I've like done the first two uh, chapters on the you know the 4K opera. Um, Quake. Pretty cool. I like, I like okay. the tone and the atmosphere. Um, yeah. But it, it's very much Doom. It very much feels like Doom with a reskin. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But a bit spookier. Um, so, and, and if they are going to do that, you know, they, then they really need to rethink how the game's going to work. And it's like, you know, do these sorts of games survive with a multiplayer component? I mean, in the 2016 Doom, it didn't, right? No, yeah, it didn't. I mean, everybody was like, yeah, this is cool. Don't want to play it, though. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. So I think I I'm, I'm I don't think so. I think I'm with you, man. I, I don't think we do. They they've clearly been working on something, but they had Eternal in twenty twenty? Is that right? Uh yeah. Maybe twenty twenty one. Yeah, twenty twenty. And then then they had the old gods, the DLC in twenty twenty one. Yeah. That sounds right. And I haven't played that, but allegedly like it does like like it leaves room. Like, like, do you think it's possible that we see like a, a third Doom? Like, like a, a trilogy, a tri- like a closer, a franchise closer. I mean, sure, but I don't think we see it this year. I don't think we see it at this at this uh, show. I don't see. Yeah, there's no reason why we don't see a third Doom. Yeah, um, but no, it's too it's too early for us to see it next week. No, 
Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. No, no it. Um, no machine games. Uh, so, it's either a Wolfie or an Indie. I think we, I, I think we could see some Indie. Yeah, I don't think it's impossible either. I, I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna spicy. say no, but I don't think it's impossible. Yeah, I'm putting it down. Okay. I think I think it's spicy, but I think we see it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't blame you for seeing that. Like, it could be one of those things where it's like, here's a CGI reveal. Um, but it, it's also one of those things that because it's in partnership with Disney, like they're gonna want Machine Games to fast track this game. Mm-hmm. I think like that's how it strikes me. You know, like that that's top priority contract. Um, so yeah. any Wolfenstein development or whatever that unannounced project is, whether it's something else, that's got a pin in it while they work on this and that means they're probably making some pretty decent progress i mean it was announced in 2020 wasn't it indiana jones i think yeah same year as the bethesda acquisition yeah um yeah fair enough bit of spice bit of roquito pepper <laughs> i'm into it all oh, roundhouse they've been quiet a while they have been quiet it's still it's just it's a lot it's a lot to ask yeah it's a lot of because we've had a lot of uh it's like we've like we've actually said like quite a few reveals like quite a few new reveals like you know which i didn't think i would say before coming like onto the show i'm just trying to figure out what what was the last thing that they did run house studio yeah i'm not sure I ain't sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's they have been silent for a while, but to to expect a not only a, a name, a name for this project, a, a potential release window, uh, what it is, and gameplay, it's just. It, it's a lot. <laughs> and like you said, they, they, they like to follow like a trend um, Xbox with like a reveal, uh, then gameplay and then and then a release to just... I yeah, know. well, I, I suppose that like that's... Because if they do follow that, I think it would make sense for the studio to get a CGI reveal. Like, I don't think they've done like a, a fully independent... They've just been helping on stuff. They haven't done like a fully independent game for a while, I don't think. Um, no, not for a while. I think they could have something that's better. Again, do Xbox want to show another CGI? Do they think they have enough gameplay to offset the CGI, or would they rather just keep it close to the chest and reserve that extra two minutes for gameplay for another game? You know. Um, I'll say no. I'm going to say more no than yes, but I'm not completely ruling it out. Mm. I'm just, you know, it's just. It's it's another spicy one. Yeah. But you know, there's I don't I don't think it's like a it's not like a fifty fifty, but then I don't think it's like a ninety ten either. Like I think there's a decent chance we might see them. Like mm. Yeah, not, yeah, I think it's it. yeah, not impossible with it, we just don't know enough. I don't have any information on it really. Mm. Um so next up Arcane. Uh, I think we have a little arcane segment. I think we get. I think we'll have a little death loop. Is coming to Xbox trailer. Yeah. Um, I think we'll see some Redfall gameplay. Um, Absolutely. And I think that's probably it, right? I don't think they'll also reveal something else. I think they're pretty under the cash with a uh, with uh, Redfall already with the delay happening. I don't think yeah, we'll get anything I... from when they announced. <laughs> their unannounced project they're supposedly working on hmm. yeah i think it's interesting that like again i think we could get one of these like obsidian like se- segments from arcane where they say oh you know game of the year nominated death loop is coming to xbox this october into game pass 4k 6 million mm-hmm. frames a second yada, yada. Yeah. um and then they say also here's a uh, five minute gameplay redfall we watched that wow mm-hmm. what fun and then i think they could be like we're also working on this. And the reason I say that is because 
the Redfall team is the Prey team. So the Dishonor 2 team, which is, that's Austin, Arcane Austin. So Arcane Leon. Arcane Leon, I've just finished with Deathleaf, actually. No, scrap that. No, we're not seeing anything on the nails from them. Redfall it is. I'm a genius. <laughs> no, I don't, yeah, I don't think we are either. Yeah, I think a yeah, little death loop and then, uh, and then Redfall. Well, because where I was going with that, my thought process was like, oh, they've pushed Redfall back. Maybe they want to offer like a bit of a, a peace offering and just like do a, you know, a, a quick title reveal. But like, I've said that a few times today, but I, <laughs> I mean, if I just put my chips on every part of the roulette wheel, you know, I'll be fine yeah. <laughs> on every card. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Right, brilliant. Okay, last one, Tim. Tango Gameworks. Uh, okay. I don't know much about the studio, but according to the graphic we're looking at, um, Xbox port might be announced. Uh, I actually probably... I don't know if we see it here, because go, it didn't come out, only come out a few months ago, so it doesn't really make sense. To do it here. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Based on what I'm seeing, I just I don't think we'll see Tango. No, well, supposedly they've got a a couple of projects in the works. Uh, I yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm like, it's possible we see like an Evil Within announcement. Um, if they do have a second team, you know, spinning that up or something else. Nice. Um, but no, no, I don't think so. Um, especially because they just put Ghostwire out. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Play it safe and say no. I'm going to say no. Big fat no. <sighs> wow. Okay. That's it. That's our speculation across Xbox Game Studios, Xbox Publishing, and um, Bethesda. We're not done with you yet, though, um, because there is some other bits and bobs here. You know, we've got like Games Pass editions. Uh, we've got like I want. I want to have a quick discussion around what we think is going to open and close the show. Okay. Um, and I also want to discuss things like, do we think there'll be surprises? Um, you know, things like that. So I guess if I just hand it to you, Tim, is there anything else that you wanted to speculate about the show in general? No pressure. But like, is there, a, is there something you're expecting to happen at the show that we haven't covered so far in, in terms of it, like any of the categories I just went over? Uh, maybe streaming stick. Oh, ho, ho. Maybe the announcement of a piece of hardware. Mm. Um, we, yeah. I, I was going to say the controller thing, but we did kind of cover that and our speculation around that. So yeah. something that we literally haven't talked about. I think maybe they could just be like, this is like a, this is our 30 quid little streaming stick, plug and play. And they give a nice little cute little trailer for it. Yeah. Um, and then they put hashtag switch is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Share this with your friends and family. <laughs> Yeah, I know they're out selling like, us 60 to 1, but it's <laughs> dead. Just <laughs> burn all bridges with Nintendo. Like, really. We're taking um, Banjo out of Smash Brothers. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be spicy and say, I think we could see a little, little streaming stick trailer. I think it's Fun possible. The, the only thing I'm like not sure about is because the other week we spoke about it being like iterated on still. Like, so I'm not sure if they're... Or maybe they were... A while ago. Am I getting... I thought we'd spoke about that like a month or two ago. No, that was like last week. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Foot in mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's not impossible that they could be like... They could announce it for like next year, like just 2023, you know. But if they're still iterating on it, maybe it's a bit risky. I mean, maybe they don't feel pressure to get it out quickly. Uh, I, I think yeah. it's like a sensible, like, prediction. Uh, mm. But... I, I'm leaning towards no simply because of that news, but you know, we don't know we don't know how truthful that is, and we know this has been on, ongoing for a while. So mm-hmm. true, yeah. So could be there. Um, what else? So I mean, I mean, we've got to wonder if there's any like third party showings there, just like you know, for showing off games. You know, I was I was watching 2019, like I said the other night, the, the E3 2019. They showed off Cyberpunk and Elden Ring in the same show. Jesus Christ. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That is nuts. Oh, mate, we'll, we'll, I think they'll probably open with Gollum. <laughs> oh, you can only dream. <laughs> you can only dream. Oh, God. 
That was funny. I just had to get that one in there. Yeah. I, it, it, this one's a bit trickier because um, Summer Games Fest is going on all week and anything like could be revealed then that we that we don't already know has like a marketing partner. Because like mm-hmm. I'm looking at things like Gotham Knights. I'm looking at things like Midnight Sun, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Yeah, um, yeah. And I'm like, oh, these could be good candidates for like marketing partnerships and uh like games pass editions to like make up for the for the dry or the the delays you know in the back half of the year modern warfare 2 uh yeah things like that so we know callisto protocol won't be because that's gonna have playstation marketing because it was at their show but yeah it's just hard is there anything else that you can think of that's like coming out later this year that would be like could make an appearance Mm. nothing's coming to nothing's coming to mind uh i think the modern warfare 2 one's quite interesting yeah that one's difficult because we don't know who has the marketing rights at the moment exactly (laughs) that one is quite interesting i think playstation still do um like because usually they sign these deals well in advance you know for marketing uh, yeah. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's changed. But they they put out the trailer the other day, and it was just like on their own channel. It didn't have like a publisher logo on it. So we'll see. Okay. But that would be something that would be like, you know, I don't even know if they Activision would go for a deal like that. But like, imagine dropping that into Day One Games Pass. Like, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't do a huge amount for me. You know, like I would be like kind of interested, I suppose, in giving it a peek if it was. Games Pass, but like you, it would that would be massive, you know. Yeah, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I agree. Yeah. Here's something else. Yeah. Final Fantasy Seven remake. What the fuck? What the fuck did you just say to me? Sausages and beans. <laughs> That's what, That's what I, I thought you said. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, I, I think it's. Uh, I think we could see that. We never. Uh, we didn't talk about uh, Stalker, by the way. Stalker two. I uh, didn't think it delayed to twenty three. Yeah, it got delayed, but is there no reason why we won't see some some gameplay from that to drum up some some hype with the delay? And it's it's early twenty twenty three. It's it only got delayed like briefly. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it could do. I kind of don't want to see it again until it's time. <laughs> like I, do you know what I mean? Like we saw it in like it got announced in like 2019. It's been like yeah. three years I've known about this game, and then we saw gameplay in 2020 or something. Um, mm, true. I do think we see Scorn. Uh, they confirm that that's still coming out this year. I think. I think we see like a, a little uh, trailer for that. Okay. I think they said it's coming out like October or something, so that's not even that far. Yeah. Plus, it got showed off first um, uh, uh, under Xbox, didn't it? That's right. It is a it is a, it's a timed exclusive, I think. So yeah. 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 Uh, and yeah, I think I think I'm really crossing my fingers. I think Final Fantasy remake and maybe Persona finally make their appearance. They finally got it ready to go, and they've got it. But this is their Games Pass like drop for the show. It's those two things and a couple of other bits and bobs here and there. Um, Pretty cool. I think they're going to make quite a a hard, quite a big Games Pass push for the back half of this year, knowing that these delays have happened. Um, So, those two and a couple of other things, maybe. I could agree. I could agree with those. Yeah. Okay. What else have I got here? So I uh, let's finish off with the games then before we move into the order and then we can uh, kind of wrap up. But um, some other fun things that have been going around in. Okay. Squawk, squawk. The hell? What's going on here? Am I supposed to be catching on to this? Squawk, squawk. Uh, you think some fucking banjo kazoo is <laughs> You think? Maybe. Is that Kazooie? That yeah. Was spot on Kazooie. By the thank way. you. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually voice acting Kazooie, and that's why. <laughs> squawk. Squawk. <laughs> squawk. Squawk. Uh, is this finally the year? Is this ever happening? Is this game ever coming back? Like, 
how could you sit on this IP for so long and not do anything with it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like one. It's it's such a big um, IP. It's kind of nuts. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always said I wanted to see a Van Joe, but for whatever reason, it never happened. So not I'm inclined to, to just what nuts and bolts too. You think there's not going to be nuts and bolts by turn too. ten? <laughs> I hate it. Jesus. I hate to say it. Uh, if it's gonna, if it's gonna just be a bad because if it's, they're gonna go back to the formula that works. Yeah, I think I know I brought it up, but I, I don't think it's done. <laughs> I, I've seen speculation about a lot of, like from a lot of people, but I like who's making it. Like who is making it? Um, True. Be rare, like, wouldn't it? I don't. I think Rare said they don't. They work. They just they're focusing on their own stuff. Well, I don't think they want to go back into that and have like a three four three issue where it's like impossible to please, you know, <laughs> like, uh, mm. so yeah. And like, cause there are some studios who are, we spoke about this in Activision Blizzard who would be good fits for this game. So I, you know, I've got to imagine they've seen that and they're like, eh, let's just hang fire one day, but not today. Yeah. Pleasant surprise though. If it is though. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be crazy, crazy cool. Acquisition stem. Do you think we see any? I don't think so. Wow. You I don't just think, think it's just I Xbox just think it's requiring just... Nintendo? No. <laughs> I don't. Uh, no, I don't think we see any. I think it's going to be. I think it's just going to be a gameplay show. To be really honest, I think they're just they're just going to show off um, gameplay for a lot of things we're waiting for um, coming you know, early next year and uh, some potential new projects with tease trailers. I just, I, I, I don't think it's the sort of place where I can see a publisher deal going down or a publisher acquisition going down. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right. Um, I, I just think, I think there probably are some studios that Xbox would be really interested in buying right now. Like a certain mm-hmm. affinity they're partnering with, uh, you know, IO Interactive, they're partnering with for like a, a long game. But they need to get this Activision Blizzard deal through um, and if they yeah. start buying more studios right now, it's just not a good time and it's not a good look. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have to say no to that. It's a big no, no. Okay. So I think we're coming towards the end here. I'm just going to have a quick whiz from my notes to make sure I haven't missed anything important. I don't think I have. No, I haven't. So Tim, my final question is what is the show opener? And what is the show closer? Uh, I think show opener is Forza 8. Mm. And I think the show closer... I mean, it's so hard to tell, like, like how they're going to structure it. Like, are they, are they going to do, like, so Xbox first and then just do, like, a, the back half is just pure, like, Bethesda? Because, you know, the... Or, or like, are they gonna like just weave? weave yeah, that, I think that's really in. That's what they did last year. They um, they just did bits and bobs throughout. Yeah, I think they'll open with Forza. A. It's just Spice. it's there. Everyone loves it. They and they've opened shows with Forza in the past, like quite a few times. Um, I think there's going to be a car on stage. Okay, um, <laughs> they drive the car through your screen yeah. and into your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then i don't know man maybe they'll like finish off with like i th- I don't think it'll be gameplay they'll finish off with i think it'll be like an announcement like a new a new game yeah so let me so i think they might close with I don't know what 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 what, what was some of the speculations we were thinking. Um, maybe the Mando thing from Zenimax. Mm. That would be a spicy one. If they if they had a licensed game in their pocket that isn't indie, so like now would be the time. <laughs> you know, yeah. with Sony sitting on not only a Spider Man and a Wolverine, um, you know. Now would be the time, I think. 
Um, and if it's Star Wars, there's a lot of like I, I'm even finding myself in the Star Wars mood at the moment. So yeah. now would be the time uh, if they are sitting on something like that. I find it interesting. So I think this is this is fun. This is I can't I can't remember what they opened 2019 with, um, which is really annoying me because I just watched it, but I don't think it was anything huge. But I remember they closed with Halo. Like they did, they yeah. did one more moment. They were like, they spoke about the Series X, but you know they just called it Project Scarlet back then, and they were like, you know, launching with uh, Scarlet is Halo. I mean, didn't age well. It aged like cheese, <laughs> but yeah. or milk or whatever. Uh, and they showed off like the you know the whole cutscene with the pilot, and he found Chief floating outside, and they went he down. Did. Um, but we didn't see any gameplay. It was just like a reveal. With a cutscene sort of thing. 2020, uh, they bounced around like the world map, if you remember, and they showed like from different studios all around the world. And then Matt Booty closed the show and he was like, We've got loads more to show. But for now, here's one more thing Fable comes up. Yeah, Playground Games. Wow. Beautiful way to close the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last year, closed with Arcane Redfall, Redfall. Um, which again, like on paper, that's a very very exciting thing. It had a bit of mixed reaction because people weren't expecting like a co-op shooter from from uh, Arcane. Um, so I think they've gotten very good at making sure that they have a CGI surprise announcement for the close. So I'm yeah, with you there. Is, yeah. In regards to what it will be, hmm, I do think that I think that is quite a good shout. You know. Uh, yeah, it's big. It's a big IP. It's, it's potentially Star Wars. Like it's it's, 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 big. it's big. It's just yeah. It's just that we don't know anything about it. Yeah, like we don't know. But then that's... that's why it's a reveal. It's like a one more thing. You know, it's not a gameplay segment. It's not. It's something to just clench onto and get excited for. I think the fact that we know nothing about it probably kind of makes it a little bit. We knew nothing about Redfall or anything like that. It was just a name drop. It's, it's just, just similar. It, it'll be a similar thing. Yeah, I, I'm with you. It's just that it's hard to project, predict because we did know it as a... What did we know it as? Omen, wasn't it? Project Omen. Like, we, yeah. we knew pretty definitively that that was happening. Everything lined up. Whereas we don't know. We know Zenimax Online was working on something, but we don't really... Do you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say they close with Compulsion's game. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that 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 was something I almost said, but then I d- I decided to go with the with the potential Star Warsy one with the, with just how much weight that holds. Um, so, and you know and what? Do think... you think? And what do you think they're going to open with? I think they're opening with Starfield. You think they're opening with Starfield? You think they're opening with a game they just delayed. Yeah. No, I mean, they get out of the way. Forza. They get everyone. They get everyone because at the moment everyone's like bummed out about it. They fucking get on stage. They get everyone excited about it again. And they're like, oh right, okay. We're still excited about this, but like I, I think to a degree, Xbox are quite predictable a little bit. Like sometimes, not in a bad way. It's just like, like people, people keep saying like, oh, will, will we see Hellblade two? You know, I think just we're just going to see it at the Game Awards again. Mm-hmm. I think that that they're very much happy with that being a thing that they, that like that they're just happy showing it there at that time of year. Uh, they opened the show with Starfield last year. I think they're going to open the show with Starfield this year. I think I think they're perfectly happy with that. Um, so that that's mine. Opening Starfield, closing Compulsion. You think opening, opening Forza. Forza, closing Zenimax Online project, <laughs> yeah. whether that's Star Wars or not. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Secured. Uh, okay, wicked. It'll be interesting to see how it all unfolds. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm going to hold on to this bit of paper. This next week is going to go very slowly. I'm, I'm very, very excited. Um, yeah. I know. I, because we, we just had here in the UK, we just had like a very long weekend because it was a bank holiday. It was the Queen's Jubilee. And I'm like, God damn it. Why couldn't <laughs> this have been next weekend? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been really nice. Um, so, yeah, is there anything else, Tim, that you wanted to speculate on in terms of, I don't know, Games Pass, UI, uh, backwards compatibility, uh, frame rate boost, uh, anything else? Mm, I don't think so. I think I think there's been enough speculation this episode. More! <laughs> Poten- potentially the, the UI thing was, yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah. I know they have been looking into that. Yeah, I, I do actually think we get like a software, a software side 
like piece of tech. I yeah. better like I think um super what's it called? Super res or something. Like it's like okay. technology to up res stuff to like eight you know, eight K or whatever. Just to make stuff like that a bit crispier. I think that's like a technology they've been looking into. Um, okay. or a new batch of backwards compatibility, maybe even though they like officially like close the program some more frame rate games would be nice as well um i think we see something like that but okay all right ladies and gents as i said we will not be here next week we will have like a reaction video if i manage to figure out how to do it like streaming live on youtube then we'll do that if not then we'll record it we'll update it i'll upload it a few days later like for, for the reactions to the show uh other than that i hope you have a fabulous week in the run up. Uh, we all hope that you know the <laughs> the, the, the gates hold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the dam doesn't break. Um, and uh, you know it's, it's a really exciting time of year. So hopefully you're all feeling the same buzz that we are. And we'll catch you sometime next week. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye.